You guys are taking your time. We better get a W, man. You what? There you go. I went to the gym this morning. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. There we go. Everybody else getting your check. Oh, I did that to show he cool. <laughs> I'll talk to you. He was like, look, see, I got black friends. <laughs> All right. Uh, should I invite Tech? Tech told me he might want to be in. Yeah, man, bring him in. <laughs> Your jacket is smooth at. <laughs> True. I so I almost uh, destroyed my PC earlier. Wow. wow. Um, well, not not on purpose. I uh, I was drinking. I put the glass down, and yeah, I reached for over. it, tipped over, and it and some of it started to seep. And my my PC has vents at the top. Oh. It started to roll off the desk. Some of it seeped into the vents at the top. I was like, no. <laughs> I had that uh, basically last night. I had a drink sit on the edge of my desk, and I'm like, "All right, I gotta, I gotta leave the office. I've been working all day." And so I'm trying to walk out, and I have this stack of really rare video games. I'm like trying to alphabetize, and it just basically dumped all over the floor right next to it. I was like, mm, that would have been nice if I spilled basically a thousand dollars on it. Man, so so far everything seems to be working all right, except OBS crashed, kept on cr kept crashing. So. That's a weird. That's something weird. Yeah, that's kind of normal. But I don't know yet. I'm gonna see. I was messing with OBS. They got a lot of features that I didn't even know they put in there now. When is Jack 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 and Smooth late? It should be a crack of dawn. Jack probably eating. Smooth work on Saturdays. Yeah, I think he do, don't he? He come he usually come out at the summer. Mm. What's up, Scrubs? Talking to all the viewers. <laughs> Sub scrubs, you know, how to hit y'all with that. Is Jack up though? Jack might be asleep, right? Oh, Jack <laughs> Let me see if Jack is up. Let me hit Jack. Up. Sweet Jack. Y'all can hear the music in the background? Yeah, nope. a little. A little. No, y'all hear that playing. Right, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that too. <laughs> now you good, too. You good. You good. It ain't nothing crazy going on. Hello. Hey, what up, Jack? Hello. What's up? What's, What's up, champion? Oh, man. Oh, you saw, you saw that. All right. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> all right. You win a 2K match and you think you could just waltz in here all late. Okay, I see. I'm just saying, bro. I was taking my victory stroll. My bad. Mm. My bad. Yeah, I see they on you about that switch, boy. Who? They on BG. You, BG, they want you to get that switch right, right now. Hey, uh, I'll get it when... Get it when I get it. Man, BG stalling, dog. <laughs> get it when I get it. I'm going to get it. Stalling, bro. Ah, oh, shit. That's crazy. Uh, half the, half the um, crew going to have a switch by the end of the year. That means you going to have one, but I'm going to have one. Ew. I got one. Yeah, I might buy one, but it ain't gonna be for me though. So, yeah, GG. Well, all right, we're gonna go ahead and get this started because we uh already late. All right, Weapon Wheel Podcast episode 109. Uh, make sure you uh hit the like button first. You know, that's the first thing I gotta mention. Yeah, we begging for likes as usual. <laughs> we keep begging, yeah, I don't do it, but so we're gonna keep saying it. 
SoundCloud, Google Play. Check out WeaponWheelNetwork.com. iTunes, of course, also. Links in the description for everything. If you would like to support Weapon Wheel Podcast, please check out Patreon.com slash Weapon Wheel Podcast. Uh, and uh, let's get to these intros. Uh, Jack? Hey, what's popping there, buddy? So it's Jack Moo, man. The guru of Gideon. But you can also call me your... <laughs> your pony commissioner. Okay. Jimmy? Yo, what's up, man? J-Mega Games. I'm in here. Uh, it is what it is. Let's talk about these games. Yeah. All right. Uh, Heart 8. And he's not there, of course. <laughs> Y'all acting real crazy this week, huh? Okay. Yo, what's good? What up? All right. Uh, there you go. And uh, our guest today is uh, Dreamcast Guy. Hello, hello. How's it going, everybody? All right. All right. All right so... Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, go tell me. Tell people about your channel and everything, you know, if they want to check you out. Um, I do a lot of crazy gaming reviews. Basically, everything that comes out, if it looks interesting, I'm going to try and beat it and tell you about it. And if it sucks, you'll know. If it's awesome, well, you'll be the first to hear it from me. All right now, I'm playing uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and I can't really talk about it yet, but I will have a full review up Tuesday after I test the servers to make sure it's not broken. Hey, me too, man. Me too. Me too. Uh just curious, why did you name yourself the Dreamcast guy? Did you actually like that console? Yeah, that's uh, that was my nickname, so I've never really actually told that. It's a question I, I get a lot, but I've never actually answered it on a podcast. Um, I used to live next to this used game store, and I was obsessed with trying to find every single Dreamcast game. So I'd go in there every single day after work, like tired as hell, covered in like dirt from my job. And I'd just say, hey, you got any new Dreamcast games? And eventually the guy there was like, oh, man, here comes Dreamcast guy. So when I decided to make a YouTube channel, I was like, well, that's my only crappy nickname, so I'll just put Dreamcast guy in. Okay. I bang with you for that, though. What was that? I, I'm I'm cool with you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I've, after all that, kind of, I just didn't understand. I was like, I was like, what? But yeah, um, and now I have every Dreamcast game, every uh, most of the Dreamcast variations. I've got all the Dreamcast controllers, all that. So yeah. Oh wow. Everyone, that, that, that voice, man. He he's like to make commercials. <laughs> well practiced. If you watch my old videos, I'm definitely like, hey guys, how do you feel about Dreamcast? <laughs> and uh, tick. What? The intro. <laughs> oh, hey! What's going on, Mr. Boy Tick? All right. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Um. All right. What are we going? What are we going to touch on first? Uh. Uh, man. You got topics, BG? What's going on? Like. I do, man. It's just. Oh, I, all right. I don't know what to touch on first. I don't know if we should get to this. This serious nonsense first, because I'm tired of talking about it. Honestly, let's let's, uh, let's talk about 2K18 for those of you who've been playing it already. Um, get the first impressions out. Uh, honestly, uh, as of right now, I do, I do not like the game. Um, I didn't play 17 last when I played with 16, but 2K18 they need to patch it. Uh, the player movement feels off. Um, playing in the paint don't feel right. Uh, it's just it's the new shot meter is 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 wonky. I, I I'm not feeling the game as of right now, man. Hopefully they'll patch some of these issues. Um, I did give Smool a couple of L's just to say, so I, I do feel good about that. Um, uh, what else? I don't know, man. I, I haven't touched none of the modes itself. I just don't been playing people online. I haven't touched them, my team or my career, so I can't really speak on them right now. Uh, it's 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 it, it need it need work. It need work. Hmm. Well, I haven't tried it yet. I bought live, and um, I'm gonna buy that probably tonight. So, uh, you supposed to play Heart Eight, right, Jack? Yeah, yeah. Whenever you want that, whenever you want that tension, I, I got him. You started playing yet? Your Heart Eight, you there? Yeah, I'm here. You started playing it already? <sighs> oh, uh, yeah, I played a little bit. Thoughts? Uh, it's 2K man. And I ain't really got much to say about this shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> that don't sound too good, man. Uh, oh, man. I don't know. That don't sound positive to me. Hey, that live game play pretty good, though. Y'all might want to try that shit, though. That sounds like a mobile game, though, bro. Like, I don't I mean, know, it right? came from, you know, they, they pretty much kind of came from mobile last year. So, 
But no, it's actually all right, right though. Yeah, that's true. Damn. It's actually all right though. I mean, it, it do need some stuff that's fixed in it though. But like, when it comes to the gameplay, the gameplay is pretty, pretty uh, spot on. I don't know, man. Man, give it a try, a little jaded ass. I, okay, another thing about a two K eighteen. Uh, it's just, I don't know, bro. It's like the I don't know, bro. I can't even explain it. It's just the computer. Uh, the, the AI defense is is terrible again. Like they still haven't fixed that. It's damn near impossible to get a fast break for some reason. I guess because of how slow the fucking players move. Um, it's just it, it's a lot of fuckery, a lot of fuckery. You gonna miss a whole bunch of wide open shots for no reason whatsoever. It's it's it's. it's it is what it is, bro. Not to sound like a live fanboy again, but that shit don't happen a lot. Just saying. Just saying. I live to Arcady, dog. Like- it's, it's not this shit. Like, I'm telling you, like, I came from 2K16. That was the last one I, I owned, and it feels pretty similar. Oh. Well, I don't play basketball games, you know, with all these Sims and stuff. You, know. you, don't, you don't want that smoke. I have to say this. The graphics are ugly as fuck, though. That's what I can say. The, the, the player models on live, they look a little suspect. How do graphics get worse though in uh, games that you know as the generation goes further? I don't understand that part. How it gets worse? Right. I was just looking at the players. I was like, yo, their faces look. They don't look. They don't look real. <laughs> <laughs> they don't look spooky though. Yeah, they look. They look ugly as hell. So. All right. Uh, so GTA is now the GTA Five is now the best selling game of all time. Oh shit! Yeah, officially. I believe they said the game that was beating it before was like Tetris or something. Uh-huh. Well, I know okay, My- well. Minecraft was for, I, I know Minecraft officially has sold a hundred million, but I think that's the metrics are so weird. Cause you know, uh, Tetris has been on 50 million consoles and cell phones and Tetris right. ultimate. So it's, it's harder to measure. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, we keep asking a question like who is still buying g like who didn't have gta at this point that's still buying it that's the part was like, we're trying to figure out like but you know what's crazy about gta i don't know anybody like people that own gta most people i know that own gta they bought their game at least two times like yeah yeah i bought it i bought it twice same like that what i'm saying so and like uh it was a it was a stat that came out like Seven out of every ten people that buy a, a PS4, Xbox One, they buying it with GTA Five. So seven out of ten, Jesus. It was something like that, bro. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy. I so, believe yeah. it. That's like such a, a big install. Damn. I bought it three times. Now that I think about it, now it's extremely yeah. stupid. Yep, I didn't need that game three times. Xbox One, Xbox One, and PS4. Believe it or not, though, that dude's what the fuck smooth like he just ran like eight laps, but um. Believe it or not, a lot of people don't like GTA, so I think a lot of people that's mine now was like people that's probably seeing like the hype behind it. So, mm-hmm. you know, they now decide to pick it up, especially PC gamers, because PC gamers typically don't play games like that, to be honest with you. So, I think that's what's helping the numbers probably I, as well. I think it's just, it, I think a lot of it is marketing, and I think a lot of it's YouTube. The fact that they just keep pumping out all these giant free patches to GTA Online, which means that every YouTuber who does that kind of content is going to make another 800 videos. It's just become this constant hype machine that somehow just keeps growing. Um, so, in, since you know it's the best-selling game of all time, I always ask everybody, what's their favorite GTA moment from any game? They like favorite moments. Oh, oh uh. I, I got one. I was uh me and my friend got on GTA online. My friend just came out of the military. He ended up just playing GTA for like two weeks straight while he was on leave. And he just became super, super good at sniping. So we were doing a GTA online job where we're trying to uh, basically race a team. Someone has like a million dollars in the trunk of their car. And we have to catch up to them and get them. And so basically we end up cornering him on a highway and he's just sniping He's shooting out tires, causing car accidents, blowing stuff at it, but it turns into like a 50 car pile up with everything on fire. And we just pick up the briefcase. It's just one of those moments of like, this is the most GTA motherfucking moment ever. I got one. When I smashed my first prostitute on the game on GTA. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Probably, that's a good one. That's a good yo, one. No. Because I didn't I didn't think it could happen. I didn't know about it. I mean, GTA 3 just came out. So I'm like, yo, why is this prostitute on the side of the road? Can I pick up? So I, I remember I like drove up to her, stopped the car, and I saw her leaning to the window. So me and my homeboys in the back, we just laughing like, nah, she ain't gonna get in the car. And then she got in the car, and I was like, yo, what do I do now? Like, what's she in the car for? So I just like, well, 
In real life, you would find like an alley or something where you know people can't see you. So I took it to a little alley, and all of a sudden the car started bouncing. They started. She started moaning. I was like, "Oh shit! Hey, hey, you can actually do it." So like that was like something big to me, uh, and that's like the most memorable moment I have on GTA. Uh, for me, it'd have to be probably when I got the plat in GTA Four, because uh -huh. it did take two years exactly <laughs> to the day, and the way I got it, it's a long story. I already told the story before, so I ain't gonna get into the story. But it was kind of crazy the way I got it. Uh, gameplay wise, would probably have to be GTA San Andreas because I played every GTA before then, except for like GTA London, but uh. I didn't really, I mean, GTA 3 was cool, you know what I'm saying? It was an innovative game for its time. But, like, uh, I kind of identified more with uh, San Andreas because, like, that was, like, the first game I ever played. It just had, like, a, uh, you know, the majority of the, the characters was black. And, you know, yeah. they just had, you know, you, 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 people identify with shit. So, mm -hmm. I'd probably say that. No, my favorite moment was, it, it was San Andreas too. It was, like, get. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Oh, yeah, like you you yeah. You can't hear me. Right, no. Down on you, dog. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Do I, sound like, do I sound like garbage? Like what? I uh, you sound you got ran down on for a second. But... <laughs> God, you got like, God damn. No. Worry. Yeah. No. No. But the bike part where you had to when you first got on the bike. Oh you had yeah. To tap yeah. on that X button to pedal oh, yeah. faster and whatnot. Yeah. That's the beginning of the game, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I enjoyed making CJ fat, so uh, did, you couldn't do that in GTA's before yeah, that. So I made him stocky with tats. Did you do the thing where if you fully leveled up bike, you could get, and got in really great shape, you could ride your bike at like fifty miles an hour? I used to like outrun cars on my fucking bicycle, <laughs> jump over trucks and shit. That was why that was the best one, man. That was the best GTA. Yeah, I you agree. know. What's you know what's weird though is they did studies and most people actually hated that. Most people hated the leveling up mechanics. That's why they removed it in all the future games, which is weird oh, wow. because that was like the best part to a lot of us. That's the only GTA that got banned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for the Yeah, they had the coffee. coffee? Yeah. 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 Yep. My favorite GTA moment would be Vice City, the last mission. I don't want to spoil it, but I'm going to because you should have played it by it's now. Old. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, that blew my mind when I was playing it, and then I seen it use the scene from um, uh, Scarface. Oh, I was like, Scarface, this yeah. is crazy. I was like, yo, that had me dying. That was like my best moment when I seen that. That was mm -hmm. a dope mission. Best uh, mission in the game. series. I really liked uh, GTA, GTA 3. Like, I don't know. It was a special moment for me. The first, you know, the first, I guess segment where you know you're working for the mob boss and everything and then the uh the mission came where you pretty much have to kill him and i don't know that's that just excited me after like okay i'm i did like all these missions for this guy and now i get to take him down i think you yeah. i think it was a car bomb you had to use yeah that was a good game but when you finally he couldn't talk and all the ones that everyone could talk they just kind yeah, of yeah yeah did y'all play uh... his name was clone did y'all do uh, Chinatown Wars? Did y'all beat Chinatown Wars? Oh, I never I got to play it. that one. Okay. That was like a Vita That's game, wasn't it? Yes, it, was, it, it, was, it was on PSP and the original DS. And it has yes. pro probably the most epic ending. The whole thing is you're trying to get this epic ceremonial sword. Like your father died, and whoever gets this sword is the head of the Chinese mafia. That's like the rules. And at the very end of the game, you finally get it. You take over the entire Chinese mob, and you just chop up your final enemy like with the katana. And all the cops walk in, and you're just so powerful now, they can't arrest you. So you literally just walk between all the police carrying this bloody katana, and the credits just roll as you're walking out like, bye, bitches, I own this town. Try it. Yeah. It's so epic. It's just like, god damn. Like, I, I wish they would introduce that gang stuff, like, back in the next GTA. Cause, like, yeah, the territories, right? Oh, you might get a gang war. Like, like that. Yeah, that you was ride to a certain high. block, and you knew you weren't supposed to be in that block in the game. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was because like, they used to um actually follow you and everything. Like if you rode through and they would yeah yeah. Not but like when you be on a mission and then like a territory get under attack, but you ain't nowhere close to it. That shit used to piss me off. Bro. <laughs> like damn, they, they defend did. that shit. They did that a lot, yeah. In uh, Vice City stories and Liberty City stories, you could like build whorehouses and shit, and they would pay you. You could like buy parts of the town, and it was cool. But then all the time, you'd get these notifications like someone's attacking your whorehouse. It's like, God damn it! Like, can, how many whores can I lose this week? Man, I had them games. I never played them, but I, I owned them. I should have. I just never had any of them handhelds. God, them came out on PS2 too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, 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 they had the graphics of handhelds though, so I. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
everyone looked like a mannequin walking around like, please save our city. Like, what? You got a mannequin face. Yeah, that shit was. Okay. Uh, Nintendo won the NPDs for August. Good job. Yeah, good job. You know, right. they won, I think somebody told me they won the last four months. Is that true? No, they, no, it was the right. they didn't win June because they had the short supply. So, yeah. Okay, well, congrats to Nintendo. How do y'all? I don't think they're gonna win September just because of uh, Destiny. But what y'all think? Oh, uh, I, I don't. I, I just think I, they come in these big spikes. I think they'll probably win October because of Mario. But I think they're not gonna take September. I think they'll take September. I don't think Destiny is selling consoles. So. Destiny's at yeah, the bundles. Yeah, it is. The yeah. yeah, they they only have a PS4 Pro bundle, and then like, but so I don't now think the bundles is moving though. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna do it. And then ain't think... it's no suffering from a shortage again right now. Yeah. Mm. I mean, so you got to factor that in because it's not as accessible as people make it seem. It's not always accessible stuff. Plus, they said they're expecting the shortage for the holiday, which I don't know how that's going to affect MPD either. And they're expecting a shortage, but able to put out a new bundle with new Joy-Cons? I don't know. That might be why. That might be why, though. They might make sure that they got those bundles covered, because those bundles is going to move. Yeah. Especially that Mario joint. Yeah, I already know people are trying so hard to pre-order that any way they can, and it looks pretty legit. I'm not going to buy another one, but it's pretty cool looking. Oh, it actually got a theme yeah. to it, right? Yeah, well, I mean, just the Joy-Cons. So apparently it's it's subtle, but the Joy-Cons are red, and if you look at the top, I think it has, like, Mario's, like, creepy eye hat is on the top. Oh, that's crazy. You should have went all out, but that's cool. Cool. Um, so the Nintendo Direct, did everybody watch it? No. I watched it. I watched it. I watched it, I watched it yeah. No. Uh, I'm going to get the list of, like, everything they shown, but... I mean, everybody's seen it. Most people watch it. So what are y'all impressions and thoughts based on what they displayed? Uh, freaking Doom? That's so crazy that they got Doom on there. That will continue to blow my mind. Like, we'd heard rumors that there was going to be more Bethesda games on there, but freaking Doom on the Switch is just crazy. Uh, I mean, they, 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 they coming out they coming out with games, so, I mean. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. But they did that with the Wii U. They had like they had mature rated games at the start of the Wii U, and then all of a sudden, they pretty much died. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Zombie U. You had Call of Duty. All that was on the Wii U when it first came out. That portability. Got, got a bomb. That pl playing it portable. Mm -hmm. That's like a big seller for, to me. Being able to play those games on a portable go, big mm -hmm. seller. But we gotta see. I don't know, man. We gotta see how long they keep up with this, cause this could just be. Just like with the Wii U, man, they just getting these games for this little bit of time. All of a sudden, nobody buys them. Then all of a sudden, we don't see those mature rated games no more. Well, you know that's gonna happen if people don't buy them. They're gonna cut them joints, right? Yeah, away. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. they, they well, don't. Them joints there's, they don't. there's a rumor that the the whole point of putting LA Noir on Switch is they're gonna see how many millions they sell, and if that actually sells well, they're gonna start worrying about putting future GTAs on the Switch as well, which is like weird to think about. Yeah, because oh, wow. I couldn't handle that. Like, I, wow, I would, I would not be able to do that. I know, and that's that's what blows my mind the most. Is I just don't understand. Like, I like playing my Switch, but I don't exactly think of it as a powerhouse. And Doom is a pretty freaking graphically intensive game. I don't see Doom as a, a intensive game. Really? Oh, on, gra on graphics? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I'd say on graphics, yes. Yeah, scale, no. So I know that's how they're doing it. It's the fact that since it is tiny hallways, it's not like it has to load a bunch. But still, like even I I'm curious how good it's going to look. I'm going to be curious if it actually hits uh, 60 frames or 30 frames. I think it's good. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah, you know that. Man. You, know, you don't even say the words 60 frames on the Switch, man. No, I think it's good. Yeah. That, that, that's a nah, I'm trying to get it at 60, I'm sure. You think so on the Switch? Yeah, I would, love, well, I, would, I would love to see that. I don't, don't think they always don't, don't they always pride themselves like the game sixty frames and all. Yo, my name in the TI got over hundred FPS on it, so I definitely feel like it should be able to do it. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, it's Doom. It really should run at sixty. That's what it's you know it's really meant something like that meant to run at. Um, but then again, you know their two K version runs at thirty. So I don't, I don't oh know. man, oh, yeah. Man. yeah, that's something. <laughs> the graphics ain't that bad on that 2K. Yeah, it's just that frame rate, like yeah, much. Yeah. 
But uh, yeah, they showed uh, Super Mario Odyssey, um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Project Octopath. I think that game looked, looked cool. Uh, Doom and Wolfenstein. I definitely give them credit for, you know, Doom and Wolfenstein. Um, I think, I think, well, Wolfenstein, because that's one of my most anticipated, my most anticipated game. So, you know, I, I got it. Is that, is that coming out this year? Somebody said it wasn't. It's I don't, I don't know. Well, 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 yeah, okay. So, okay. Uh, yeah, we're getting uh, Wolfenstein 2018, Doom 2017. Okay. Uh, Kirby Star uh, All Stars, um, Kirby Star Allies. Um, excuse me. Um, there's a 3DS Kirby game, and then I think there's a Switch Kirby game. If I'm not mistaken. I think I saw two. Yeah. Uh, I hate Kirby. I, I wish they would stop. <laughs> uh, Splatoon 2, Arms. Some arms uh, content I think is coming. Fire Emblem Warriors, Snipper Clips, Snipper Clips Plus, excuse me. Uh, Skyrim, Rocket League, Dragon Quest Builders, 2K18, FIFA18, WWE 2K18, uh, Sonic Forces, Flip Wars, and uh, oh, there's of course the Pokemon game is coming and some other things. So yeah, I mean it wasn't bad to me. Like, and I'm I'm not the biggest fan of the previous. Uh, directs, but this one was this one was okay to me. Yeah, I mean they didn't show a lot of things that I'm personally interested in, but like I said, they do got games coming out. So I mean, if people enjoy them, then hey, I'm with it. Right. If you, if y'all have a Switch, download that free Octopath Traveler demo. It is seriously one of the best demos I've ever played. I've been hearing that a lot actually. People saying it's pretty good. Yeah, it's it's like extremely based. You play as two different characters, and it turns out the name Octopath is because there's eight different main characters, and depending on who you choose, you start out in their country, and then I guess they all meet up later and like fight the last boss. But like one chick is basically like a princess, and her dad's like a king who was killed, so she ends up having to go into prostitution and become an assassin. And then uh, the other dude is like a a disgraced knight who's like living as a mercenary in a small town, but it's just but super cool, excellent combat system. Wow! Wow! Prostitute in Nintendo? Wow! Uh, yes. Well, and it's it's really graphic. There's actually like a scene where like your boss literally is just basically like, you gonna have to blow what me later, honey. What game is this? <laughs> Octopath <laughs> Traveler. All right, because people said don't spoil it. It's a demo. It's, it's a, a demo. demo. Oh, okay, well, that, I'm telling you what they're saying in the chat. I'm just saying. <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> that's, that's a demo, though. Come on, y'all. Y'all, y'all doing too much. Man, <laughs> they're going to have them on the spoilers. That's what Listen, I'm these people will call something spoilers. That's like in the summary of the uh, of the game. Yeah, like a trailer or some shit like that. Just, like, not proceed. If it's a demo, then it's different. I thought it, that's why I had to ask. Yeah, 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 that's not the full. That's the demo, y'all. What are y'all doing? Don't ready to go in. The game box itself, and people. No, that's what I was about to say. I was like, don't spoil the game box. I haven't seen it. <laughs> That's a spoiler if you read it, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing yeah. too much, man. Nah, that's why I wanted to clarify. They was getting ready to go in. That game do look interesting. Though, like the art style, like how it's like like 3D backgrounds, but like the the foreground, the characters kind of like uh, 2D. I, I I like the art style. Look. Yeah, they're they're calling the art style 2D HD. So it's like uh, 3D worlds, 2D characters. Hmm. I see you heavy in the, in the Switch plan. I see that. Uh, I don't really consider myself. I, I just happen to be playing a lot of that demo this week. I consider myself a, mostly a PS4 guy, oh, uh, pretty heavy Xbox guy. But I, I own everything because since I'm, I review games for a living, <laughs> I have to own everything and play everything. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. Let me ask you the question. Get it out the way now, man. Oh. Are you, are you, do, are you, have you? pre-ordered or planning on getting an xbox one x or do you have an xbox uh, i have not pre-ordered the xbox one x um just because i missed it uh i do want to get one though so i can actually review it because so i only have a 1080p tv and i actually want to review it i feel like everyone's kind of analyzing it from the 4k direction and yeah. i kind of just want to be like look i'm a broke guy with a broke guy tv will i notice the new power so i'm hoping i get a hold of one just so i can do like a broke guy review of it okay but uh, do you have an xbox one yeah i have an xbox one Right, cool. All right, you you pass. I I I. Man, Jimmy trying to pull up. Got to check. Got to check. Got to mm -hmm. make sure you're not 100 pony power. All right, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> I mean, he you know he trying to uh, talk you know reply to what Smooth be saying. He's not a real Xbox. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to prove yeah. right now. I yeah, I I, I issued a Best Buy stamp of approval. So um, <laughs> there you go. 
Where do you play your multi-plats? Uh, oh, mostly man. PS4. There you so, go. Mostly because since I'm a reviewer and I have to play a lot of stuff online, since so many more people play on the PlayStation 4, it's a lot easier. Like when I, I just reviewed Destiny 2 uh, a week ago, and it was a really interesting review, but I needed to play it on PS4. That way I could make sure the servers were always full of like thousands of people so I could get a game going. Sometimes when I've tried to review stuff on Xbox One, I have had the problem with like filling up lobbies being troublesome. Mm. No. no. Oh, okay. What game were those? <laughs> um, so, uh, spe specifically, I actually had trouble with. Uh, I actually had a lot of trouble with Gears of War when I was trying to Ooh. review Gears of War Four back in the day. I love that game. I actually have even read the Gears of War books. But when it was coming out, for some reason, nobody was wanting to do horde mode for the first couple weeks. So while I was trying to talk about it. I had trouble recording footage. Oh but shit. So that's just, but that's just a professional gripe. Like it's a fine system. I just use the PS4 more. No, I had that same problem. I can't knock you for that. Well, let's move over to Twitter. I had that issue too, but the only reason why I had the issue because I had it during the review period. So it was like the yeah. lobbies weren't really full of anybody during uh -huh. that point. So. Yeah. Nah, so you was trying to check this man. And, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I had to check this man. yeah. It's okay though. Uh, okay, so yeah, the Nintendo Direct was alright. Uh, so there was there was this poll, and it was it was I think it was they did it in like a few months ago. Nintendo put it out on their Twitter. Um, where do most people play? You know, their their Switch and everything. And most people said it. It was like at home on the train. I forgot the other options. And some people, you know, debated that the poll wasn't very comprehensive because it, it you know all the choices weren't there for most people. Right, you know, it was only four choices, but like eighty-five percent of people said at home. So that's why I argue like I don't feel like the portability is really the selling factor of the Nintendo Switch. I think I it's the portability. Yeah, I don't agree with it. I think it I, helps as an option though, selling out. No, I think portability helps. I I play, when I have my Switch, I played it a lot at home. I brought it out once, but I played it in portable mode, just at home. Yeah, a lot of people walk around the house playing it, or like yeah. they play it when they got company. I, it's like a cell phone. What? It's like a cell phone. Now a lot of people say that they play it on a couch when somebody's watching TV. They go sit right next to them and play it. Okay. I thought you said you know people's like, over. I was, like about to, I was about to turn the black bar for a second. Like, what kind of social reject would play yeah, with but, but, but I just I just made the perfect <laughs> argument. You can say that, but you, did, you, you did, see you somebody did. on that phone and then like you like, yo, what you doing? And you see them playing like some stupid Tetris game. Why are you talking to them? I'm like, yo, my man, turn that shit off. Right. So it happens. I uh, What's going on? that sound is weird. It's on somebody outside. That's smooth. It's a driver. It's a driver. My bad. Nah, that's cool. It's cool. You got your window speed. down, fam? Nah, nah. I'm just catching some speed. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I like having a switch for conventions. I go to like seven or eight big conventions every year, and now I love the ability to just have Mario Kart in my pocket. That is really cool to me. Of like, uh, if I'm having to sit down in a line for an hour to get like a an autograph for somebody, it's cool that I can like sit down with a friend of mine and just immediately play like four or five laps. So the portability is cool, but it's also very situational. All right, so let me look. Let's just get this out of here because I see somebody say something in the chat that kind of triggered me. I ain't gonna say what he said, but um, yeah, it irritated me. So y'all go and tell me that. All right, let's just ask this question and we'll we'll see what everybody thinks. If the switch was not portable, do you think it would have sold as many uh, as it has currently? No, no. Okay, thank you. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Because then it would just be a gimped, uh, you know, PS4, Xbox One at that point. So it is. Point point that. So that means. Yeah, it, exactly. it, I mean, that's definitely. That's definitely that's the main selling. Like that, you know, that's what they market. Yeah, everybody's saying it's, it's not anywhere. a selling point. I'm like, how's it not a selling? Of, point? of course, it's a selling. It's called the that switch. A that's why it's called the switch. Like, exactly. Come on, that's my come point. on, that's man. What I'm come to on, say, man. man. That's All right, not so silly, bro. I'll say this. I think okay, it might have helped sell it, but I don't think that's what most people are using. No, I, I agree. I agree. I mean, I mean we can't. Situation the, thing, like the, the thing about that though is we really can't, uh, you know, assume what people are thinking. Though, you know what I mean? Like, it's just. It, it's a selling point. We can all agree on that. Is it the main reason? Who's to tell? We not fucking, you know, brain uh, goddamn doctors or whatever. So I don't know, man, why people buying the shit. I mean, I don't have one, but 
Well, People seem to like it, though. Have y'all heard there's a term called the Walmart phenomena? They've discovered that if you put 24 hour on the front of your store, you'll sell more items during the day. You don't get more customers at night, so you're technically losing money by being open all night, but more people shop during the day, so you make more money. I That's think it's crazy. just the fact that if you say you have a portable console, people will buy it more often, even if they're never going to take it portable. Yeah. That's what I I'm saying. That. Thank That's you. Exactly. That's exactly my point. That's exactly my point. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I mean, like, you know, the portability thing, I just think it's probably underused. I think it's just like, uh, what is it, the backwards compatibility with Xbox? You know, everybody swore they wanted Wow, you placed it on LOG. I'm just saying. I, 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 okay, it might not be that bad because only like 4% <laughs> of y'all is even using backwards compatibility. <laughs> it might be a, a pre, probably a higher percentage of people actually using the Switch's portability, but uh, I, I still think it's in that realm. I guess, I guess, I guess. If you, I, I would say, I don't know. What's the percent you think use it? Wait, so you, wait, wait. So BG, you think they playing it on their TVs? So here, here's the thing, right? There's portability, right? And then there's portability, portability outside your house. Oh, okay. Like there's people like probably sitting right in front of their TV that they could be playing on. Except they have it in handheld mode, and I'm like, is that really, is that really <laughs> taking advantage of portability? I mean, yeah. If you go I in the bathroom it, and take a shit, that. but I you playing your Switch, walking, like I mean, it's still portable. Yeah, walking around your house playing it, I I gotta agree with that. Yeah. All right, all right. I mean, hey, I'm gonna get nodding a little bit though, BG. I'm gonna go see it. All right. I'm not. Oh, you ain't seen that drawing yet? Nah. Oh man! Let me let me tell you what happens, man. First of all, we get to the <laughs> <laughs> you know your address too, yo. <laughs> nah, nah, we go, we go, we go. I ain't messing with nobody from Maryland, man. You good? <laughs> all right, all right, we can move on. Um, so Bruce Straley, co-director of Naughty Dog, has decided to leave after 18 oh, years. Man. I don't think it's a big deal. I just think it's natural progression. You know, after you've been in the studio a long ass time, you know, you get. Get tired of stuff you want a vacation you want to break from it all i'm i think there's our i'm sure there's somebody in the naughty dog employee lineage that's gonna take up the reins and be just as good and lead the team in the direction that you know because neil Druckmann is still there and at one point neil Druckmann was a nobody he was a lowly developer at naughty dog and he moved up the ranks and eventually he's gonna get replaced or leave you know he's gonna leave for day and somebody else is gonna take his place so i don't think it's a big deal i just think you know, it's natural progression. Uh, I, I wholeheartedly disagree with that. Um, Bruce Straley was an integral part in Naughty Dog's recent success. Um, just to know, if y'all don't know who Bruce Straley is, a lot of y'all just think he, uh, you know, he he, he was the dude that uh, that uh, first demoed the last one. Let me run down a list of games that Bruce Straley directed. Um, which means you're over the whole team. You know, you pretty much oversee how things go. Um, Uncharted 2, y'all might have heard of it, a little game named Uncharted 2. Uh, no, I never heard of it. Nah. You never heard of it? Okay, cool. Nah, okay. Uh, the Last of Us, uh, you know, when it first came out, the most critically acclaimed game, uh, still to this day. Uh, he also co-directed a game, uh, Uncharted 4. You guys may have heard of it. I don't know. Yeah, so, yeah. them three games alone, man, like, everybody can't do, you know what I'm saying? I just think that, what well, first of all, being a game director is, is you know, it's, 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 it's not a, uh, it's kind of like a thankless job, man, because people just, they see the finished product, but they don't know what went into making these games. They don't know what, what you know, what decisions they had to make. And being the game director, like, it, 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 you going to see a difference in some of these games, bro. Like, everybody can't do what Bruce Straley did. So, it's definitely going to be a difference. The games might still be good. They might still be great, but he definitely going to be missed. Facts. Yeah. yeah, it's it's just weird to think because, I mean, honestly, Bruce Straley, he helped create what we think of as Naughty Dog. Like, they've entered this new, more mature era of crazy, hardcore action games, so it's weird to think of him gone. I'm I'm curious and semi-fearful as to what Last of Us 2's development will do because of this. Yeah. Well, he wasn't involved in uh, Last of Us 2, actually. he was. That's the thing. He was going to take a year off originally. He was going to take a year off because... Uh, originally, as y'all all know, Bruce Straley and Neil Druckmann were not supposed to be directing Uncharted 4. They were supposed to be working on The Last of Us 2. Uh, mm -hmm. So when Amy Hennon left and uh, the other guy left, I forgot his name. Uh, I forgot his name. He was the director, the original director of Uncharted 4. They left uh, 
So they they basically got got their game uh, given to them, and they you know they they only thing was well we have to have full creative uh, control behind Uncharted Four if we do this. So uh, they hadn't had really had a break I don't think either uh, from the games because they was like I said they supposed to be taking a break then working on uh, Last of Us Two, but they ain't never happened. So after they got done with Uncharted Four, he was supposed to take a year off. That's why Neil Druckmann it was gonna be the only one directing um, Last of Us Two, but uh, I guess he just decided man you know I'm gone I'm out like I'm done. Yeah, well, we're kind of in an age of that. It's weird to think, isn't that the dude who wrote, like, all the lore for every single Blizzard game, didn't that dude retire last year? The dude who wrote Diablo and Warcraft and Starcraft and everything, that their, like, head writer of Blizzard left last year randomly of just, like, man, like, great, I'm super glad I took all those millions home, but I am sick of this, bye. Damn. That's crazy, man. I mean, like like BG said, Naughty Dog do got a lot of talented people and all that, but that's not that's not an easy like directing a, a, a game, especially to the caliber of like a Naughty Dog title. That's not an easy undertaking, man. So whoever they get to replace him, they gonna have to really be about that life. For real. Yeah. But and they do have people they can also bring in, not just you know the people under them if they needed to. No, oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's Naughty Dog, though. So I, ain't, I don't not. know, man. They ain't gonna be able to keep making all these games with just Neil Druckmann, though. They gonna have to. They gonna have to get some <laughs> yeah. other people, like. And you know, Uncharted Lost Legacy had a different director, and that game ended up turning out, you know, great as well. Had different yeah. writers and all that, but I mean, we we we'll, we'll just see. We'll just see. Time gonna tell. Right. Okay. All right. So, Destiny Two. I. There was early report. I think it was just in the UK, though. Early report said that sales were 58 percent down um, compared to the original Destiny. But it, it now they're saying it's the best launch game for 2017. So, Wait a minute, what? It, it's oh, you said the, the best launch game. Okay. Yeah. Well, highest so highest selling game of the year, but also dramatically lower than its predecessor, which makes sense because it's also on a lot less platforms, like. When that came out on Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, and PS4 on the same day, there were lines around every single store. Whereas now, tinier install base. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's doing, it's doing numbers. Like you said, it's on less platforms, so naturally it's going to have a, a worse launch. But I know a lot of people that's playing Destiny 2 right now. I don't know if they like the game or not, but... uh. Yeah, it's I, doing it's doing what it expected to do is it was expected to do numbers so man, I yeah. wait on that Destiny well, well, well Bungie's last game always had a positive trajectory mm -hmm. no they always seen growth from Halo one to Halo two to Halo three all went positive yeah but, yeah uh, this one this one feels much more Halo-y, and I love that about it like there are so many moments like where you get in a car and you're shooting giant stuff and driving out of exploding bases and stuff so it, it feels much more Halo-ish and I think that's purposeful. That's what I didn't like about it though when I first played Destiny 2. Like oh, trying yeah? to get that whole Halo mentality out of my mind and realizing I'm playing an RPG where I gotta shoot through a certain many times, you know, a certain amount of yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it was like throwing me off. And especially going on to the multiplayer trying to I was like I was like literally telling myself like oh, I gotta remember this is not Halo. It's not Halo. Yeah, <laughs> so, it, it is very yeah, definitely very RPG-ish. I made the mistake early on while I was playing it where I just tried to jump ahead to the next mission and I was too low level. And so it felt weird to be like, I'm getting hundreds of headshots and everyone's just laughing at me. So I was like, okay, I have to actually do side quests and stuff. This is not Halo. Right. Yeah. See, the thing about Destiny um, and even Destiny 2 is like, you can't, I feel like you can't play it casually. I feel like every time I tried, attempted to play it casually and I just got like smoked by all my friends who play it because they've been playing it for like days and they're like, they have to, now they have to play with me just for me to keep, so they can level me up. Mm -hmm. It's so like it's, it's it's insane. So smooth. Are you saying you're a filthy casual? Oh, <laughs> I, I'm not saying I'm a filthy. I, I'm, I'm a casual Destiny player. I don't play. I can't play it like my friends do it. Mm -hmm. Like they're doing four o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, doing all the schedule raids and stuff like that. I, I like I, we played to play the game and, and I try to catch whatever I can catch. But these dudes are centering their work schedule you talk about around game, the game yeah <laughs> i heard what you're talking yeah, about yeah but it's, it's not it, but it's not just him it's a gang of him uh, oh, that, my that homie did it. take three days off though <laughs> it's, just, yeah. it's that is that real yeah i guess it is it took three Man. days off it's crazy a shout he, out to gaming addict though he did get me through the game <laughs> they be drowning a lot of hours into that game man and that's not 
that's not something I'm willing to do for the most part in running game. Uh, I felt like, especially with Destiny, there's no. I always felt like there was no end game. There was no end goal that you were doing this for. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, it it's one of those games that's all about. Uh, it's getting gear to get gear. Congratulations, you got a better gun. Now keep using that till you get a better gun. There's not right. like. There's no big ending finale where everybody has a party and gives you a hand job. It's just about getting that next gun. <laughs> exactly, and I don't, I don't like games like that. Like I gotta, I gotta know I'm working towards something other than just to do it, just to do it. Like, cause like Borderlands is like that, right? Where you, you can get a really powerful gun and you like, oh, this gun is amazing, and then you open the chest right next to it, and there's a gun like way better than what you just found, and that constantly <laughs> happens. But at least in Borderlands, you're leveling up, and you know there's like a big boss at the end of the game where all this grinding is going to be working. Mm -hmm. right? So I like it. I like, you know, I just like that angle. I don't like these games where it's just you do it just to do it. No, I don't like it. All right. So did anybody get into that DBZ beta? No. No. Yeah. I didn't know what it was. Didn't they seem like a lot of people like, uh, oh, you didn't get in the beta, but like pre-order a special yeah. edition or some shit? Yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> they, like, I got links, but every time I went to the link, the link was always broken. Like, I, there was no full access to it. Like, I, I got in. No, we don't like you, fam. <laughs> I'll let you know. Run that code. Run that you code. You ain't stream that thing, Jimmy? Nah, man, not yet. What? Well, you got to get started early on something like that. Nah, they, but they, they it's down for maintenance right now anyway. They um oh, they, right. yeah, they doing maintenance on it right now. It went down as soon as the stream started, actually. Okay. I, I wish I was in the beta, but I also realistically know that I'd play it for like three hours and then just be like, all right, I'm done. Like if someone else getting a code, they'll probably enjoy it more than I would have. True. Uh okay. Uh so Samus returns that release did that release already? Yeah, it, it came out yesterday. I think you're probably the only one that got that. Dreamcast. Yeah, I, I've had that for a couple weeks. I beat the crap out of that game. I don't think anybody else in the podcast even owns a 3DS. Uh, <laughs> I had to borrow one. Mine broke a while ago. My friend had to lend me one for my review. So what's uh, give us the rundown, um, you know, quick, I guess. Uh, yeah, here's the 30-second breakdown. Uh, it is a great 2D Metroid game. It doesn't really do anything new. It's just basically, it's definitely made to reintroduce people to this world. It explains what Metroids are, it explains why Samus is a badass, and then it gives you guns to be a badass. It doesn't really do anything new, but it is fun, and it has a really good art style. Okay, cool. Anybody has a 3DS? What was the last major game the 3DS got, anyway? Like, what is it? Po Pokemon. Smash Bros? Uh, oh. Like po Pokemon last year, didn't it sell something insane like 12 million or just some something insane? 20 million, 30 million, something insane. Cool, cool. But the like Pokemon, I don't know. I'm, I'm still down for that's one game, but you'll never hear me slander it. Like uh, that formula to me doesn't get on. The only thing I did get in the argument with the guy, he tried somebody tried to debate me that. He said, because I said the first like three generation po uh, Pokemon generations are the, are the best. Because I feel like after that, they just started getting desperate and just running out of ideas for Pokemon. Oh, they got a Pokemon I mean, made out of the trash, bro. You, yeah, you got a Pokemon <laughs> that's a fucking chandelier, a right. ice, an ice cream cone, a garbage oh. bag. I'm like, come on, you, you really what? gonna. He, he was telling me it was just nostalgia that made me feel that way. You telling me the new generation <laughs> Pokemon is, 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 is hot? I, I can't I, I can't get it. I, I'm a I'm what they make fun of people like me. Pokemon fans saw me a Gen One -er. I love the original Pokemon, and each consecutive one I got less and less into it. And once talking refrigerator showed up, I was definitely done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the oh yeah, they started them dumb ass characters like like chairs and shit. I'm like what? <laughs> You're not yeah, a monster. Like, oh, I got a fucking chair. Wait, do they really have a refrigerator? Yes, there really is a refrigerator. Oh, Pokemon. As soon as I saw like refrigerator, like I'm done. We're good. I'm fine. Thanks. Wow. Yeah, dude really tried to make it seem like I'm crazy. Like, no, it's just nostalgia. I'm like, fam, you're, you're playing with a garbage bag. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, there's, there's nothing origina original about this. There's nothing edgy about that. That's clearly you're running out of ideas. <laughs> like, uh, But besides that, like, yeah, I, I don't slander Pokemon game. Uh, still, still down for it. Uh, all right. Uh, anybody played Okami? That HD remake coming out. I've never actually played it. I, I played it. 
It's it's good. Fun fact: Did you know that Okami is the lowest selling game ever to win Game of the Year awards? Really? Oh wow! Yeah, it it sold like 122 thousand its first release, and it got like Game of the Year awards from everybody. It's cool, uh, but it's it's really weird. You're like you're literally the god of art. You're this wolf thing, and you basically draw forests and draw weapons. And to attack people, you actually like draw shapes to hurt them. It's it's cool, but it's definitely different. Yeah, like I I know about the uh, character. It's Amaratsu, right? Yeah. Oh so, yeah, like I I like even games I don't play. I always like look up the background on them, and you know she's in Marvel vs. Capcom three, so you know I, I know all about her. I just never actually played the game because I'm I'm just waiting on Capcom to confirm that Onimusha. That's what I care about. They playing. Oh, right. yeah. oh, that'd be dope. Dude, man, I'm the biggest Onimusha fan. I even got the really crappy tactics game on Game Boy. <laughs> I'm a fraud because I never played none of them, but that's why I'm playing one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you never played Onimusha? I've never played it. Oh, man. man. I, always oh, I, know, I, never play, it. I never played Onimusha either. Yeah, I always used to look at it on, like, the Game Pro magazines back in the day, yeah. but, like, I never would go out and buy it. I always had, like, a, I think a Greatest Hits version or something like that. At least a, it was, like, one of them PlayStation uh, on PlayStation 2. Yeah, had them, but I, it was just like always in my collection. I just didn't really play it. <laughs> I, I for some reason, one summer I just became obsessed with hack and slashes. This wasn't even like ten years ago. This was like two summers ago. I was like, I'm going to beat every legendary hack and slash, and so I bought all the Onimushas, like every single one of them, and beat them in a freaking week. Just like bam, 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 bam. So man, I'm definitely burned on the series a little bit, but I want another one. Yeah, I definitely. I th- I'm pretty sure they're they're working on it now. I'm if Capcom is smart, they're definitely working on that. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I'm thinking by next year we're gonna get an announcement. I'm thinking. I oh, like so. E3 ish, something around that. I hope so. Capcom's so weird recently. Like Capcom, there were all those rumors that they were dead broke right before they came out with uh street fighter 5 and then street fighter 5 bombed and now they're releasing all these like crappy remaster collections it's just i wonder how broke they are how many new games they're actually going to make didn't they come out and say like uh well i i think they only really making like profits or money off of these remasters that they're doing that's why they keep doing them like (laughs) yeah well they basically they released a statement that I know the Mega Man fans were pissed about because it was pretty obvious. But they were basically like, "I sure hope you guys buy these collections so we can afford to make more Mega Man." And people were like, <laughs> "You're fucking holding us over the fire. You're literally holding Mega Man ransom." You know, it's cr- like yeah, they said they broke, but didn't like a year or two ago they like made a building, like they built a whole new building for like mobile game development. I could have swore they did. They're like I don't know. They make they make a lot of bad decisions over there in Capcom. Man. Oh. Yeah. Is there any like uh, figure or you know like a, anybody tracking what what's what developer has the most remakes? Because I really feel like it's Capcom or it has, they gotta be. It gotta be. I really feel like it's Capcom. Yeah, they it do it be. like multiple times yearly. Yeah. 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 Buy them shit. They, why wouldn't they? Yeah, I, I'm the guy who buys every Resident Evil, no matter how bad. Every See, single re-release. Problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are the problem. I, the I am. You can blame 100. like Dreamcast guys, that piece of shit who's funding Capcom. I, I mean, yeah, I'm, I, I bought Resident Evil 4 like at least eight times. Yeah, so you're the biggest problem. That game, <laughs> oh, that game not even the best Resident Evil 2. Uh, That's what I'm saying. Well, I, we can get into a debate about that. I Resident Evil 2 is the best one, I'm just saying. Or the remake of the first one is the best one. I, I like 2 and I like Code Veronica. Cool. I'll fucks with you. All right. I, I really like this guy. He cool. He cool. I like this <laughs> My favorite one is three, to be honest. Three is good. I got three you. Three is good. Four is when all that bullshit action shit started. Like that's. I, I mean, it started, like, but it, it still oh, mainly man. had a lot of survival elements. Like nah, nah. Oh, my sorry. name is Leon Kennedy, and I'm here to bang the president's daughter. Right. Yo, we can go through the game just knifing people. Yo, it's not that yep. tough of a game, bro. Um. And I know you have done this because you know you're the gaming god and everything. I, 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 I did it live <laughs> on stream. Like, yeah, I do. I'm I'm one of those because I did the same thing. I was tr- I was playing Resident Evil Seven. This this I was trying to play it the same way I played the rest of the games, where I was trying to shoot at you know the at least you know least amount of bullets as possible. And that doesn't work for Resident Evil Seven. So yeah, that's how I go. Like I try to knife, and I try to stun them and just knife them to death. Every single enemy. That's that's how I do. I don't like shooting bullets. You know. That's yeah. how. 
the mercenary mode in RE4, I play as a uh, hunk, and then I'll just like basically tap somebody in the head, and when they're stunned, do the suplex instant kill. So I look like this professional wrestler <laughs> just doing laps around the castle. Yeah. So, and yeah, people was like, when I was live streaming Resident Evil Seven, people was like, "Why are you playing like this? Shoot!" Like, and I was trying, I was trying to get through each part without shooting a damn thing, like pretty much. And that, yeah, that don't work for Seven. I was just. I'm like, uh, yo, I gotta let these bullets fly. I just gave up. I'm still waiting on Resident Evil 7. I'm waiting for that uh, HTC Vive support for it. Oh, yeah. Then I'll, I'll get it. And VR is trash. Okay, um, that's your opinion. And uh, <laughs> I, I respect it. But anyway, yeah, I'm waiting for that Vive support and uh, I'll pick that shit up. I bet we'll probably get, because you know, we're about to get the uh, Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition is coming out in December. So they'll probably, if there's going to be any uh, HTC Vive support, they'll probably announce it then. All right, we're not gonna make a two coming out though, because that's what I. Yeah. All right, they got my money Ooh, on that. It might be nice. Yeah, I, we, we haven't that. seen anything in so long, so it's either going great or it's going terrible. Okay. All right. Uh, let's take a patron question. El mm. Boogie asks, "Was your was your gaming experience more enjoyable during the two D or three D era?" Three D. Yeah. 3D easily. 3D. That's easy. Because when I was in 2D, I was waiting for 3D. <laughs> so, <laughs> 3D. I was a, I was a real like young kid. Like I was just really young, you know what I'm saying? Before 3D gaming. So I mean, mm -hmm. it was cool, but uh, you know, I pretty much didn't know what the fuck I was doing on none of these games. So by the time 3D gaming rolled around, you know, you're a little bit older, you kind of comprehend the stuff a little bit better, man. So 3D, that's that's easy. 3D. Yeah, I mean, the 3D era came with a lot of its bullshit. That yeah. the 2D era obviously didn't have, but I think it would, for, for the most part, be silly to say that you know the 2D era was better. It was a lot more simpler, and we didn't have to deal with a lot of the mess. Game you put in a game, it just worked. You didn't have to worry about nothing extra. But you know, 3D era came with its BS, but it still had a lot offered a lot more as an experience. I think growing up with the 3D era was really interesting because we saw them developing a lot of the game mechanics that is, exist today. We saw like the first first person shooters that used to suck ass and we saw them <laughs> trying to figure it out. Like, have y'all ever tried to go back and play Siphon Filter? Do y'all remember oh, yeah. Siphon Filter? You know, I just oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you look up and down with the shoulder buttons, you run with the joystick, and then you press L1 and R1 to look up and down. It's the worst system you could ever yeah, imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, it's so great. it's 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 fun having lived through that. <laughs> yeah, because I, I downloaded yeah. it on, um, I played it on emulators on PC, right? And I was like, I'm thinking like, oh, so I feel that this is, I love this when I was younger. This this, <laughs> this is going to be a breeze. I thought this is going to be an amazing experience. I was like, how the fuck? Yeah, that game didn't age before? well. Like, it did not I had I, at all, dog. I want to I wanna write about it specifically because I tried to replay it again recently too and I was like, what the fuck kind of cancer shit is this? I want to write <laughs> I want to write about games that we remember awesome and then you play them now and you're like, oh, no, nope, this is a brick. Yeah. GoldenEye right. is another one. Uh, somebody brought that up. Anthony Logan in the chat. He brought that up. GoldenEye is another one. I tried to play that too, the original one. Don't don't work well. Yeah. No, that joint moved to like 20 frames per second, didn't it? <laughs> Maybe. It, I just remember that it was so weird pressing R to to actually aim was so weird. It was like it was like Twitch aiming on a console. It's so weird. Right. Yeah, a lot of them don't translate well now. Yeah. Uh, oh, smooth. We got a question for you. What uh, from Omar? Uh, how much does the Xbox One X have to sell to be a success, in your opinion? Uh, like at launch. Yeah, it launched. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, I'm gonna aim high. Some, I, I would say at launch being, uh, but the way that Microsoft is treating it, uh, at launch 500k. Yeah, half a mil. Okay. I think we even had that many at launch though. Like, listen, yeah, if um, they should, they should not Project Scorpio editions, but standard ones. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, they're, they've had rumors. I Where did I read it? I read, read somewhere that they're planning on having two or three million available uh, the first month and another two million available the second month. They're trying to, ha like, move uh, five million before the end of the year or something crazy. Oh. 
Fabio yeah. will be in an urination. <laughs> 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 Fiscal year urination. Uh, no, 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 they're trying to, they're really, so I'm trying to remember what report I read. They're specifically trying to sell like 5 million in the first couple months. And I read the report that's saying that they're trying to convert a lot of people who already have an Xbox <laughs> One S. So it's one of these where they're not going to be creating new customers so much as the fact that yeah. they're going to be trying and to it won't like, be get the rebomb. Yeah. yeah, exactly. They're trying to double dip. They're they're trying to GTA us. I I, I don't see that happening to me personally, but uh, I mean, you know, I, some I can people see where it happens. It happens. Think about it. It happens with it happens with iPhone and it happens with a lot of other areas. But where yeah, are now oh, it's just a uh, yeah. really grab a base. And just resell to that base as much as they can. That's but, what's happening to our games, if you think about it. But mm -hmm. they're gonna have to have a crazy trading program if they're really trying to get that to work, though. Like you get yeah. half off if you yeah, trade it. Like, uh, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, games. No, they like, they're they, they doing like two hundred dollars, you know, on like your on your console to make it a three hundred dollar purchase. Yeah. Um, okay. Right now, so. All right, so yeah, I mean, I said five hundred thousand, but if they're but they. I mean, they are, if they're aiming high where they expect to sell like 5 million in like the first quarter, like in one quarter, then I mean, I, that would be very successful if they do that. But I think 500,000 at launch, maybe uh, be at 1.5 through uh, as of January or something like that. Yeah. I'd be able to, I think they're, they're trying to probably match. I don't know if y'all have read this statistic, but one in five PlayStation 4s sold now is a PlayStation 4 Pro. Mm -hmm. So I think Microsoft's goal is to try and match those numbers. There's estimated to be about 30 million people with an Xbox One. So I guess they're just being like, okay, now we just got to get that many people like to, to cash in. We'll get 5 million uh, Xbox One X. Okay. Hmm, one in five? Okay. The Xbox One also is getting 1080p game DVR capture. I yeah, yeah the stand the standard Xbox One and Xbox One S, yes. Because I think currently um, it's at like 720p and something else. So the thing is, I don't know if you any of you guys watched my um, my crazy comeback vid of NBA Live. I didn't have my capture card plugged in, so I end up using the Xbox VR. Yeah, it, it looks like yeah. The game the game doesn't look that bad, dude. It, that so was, what was it getting? 1080. You said 1080 60. No, it's, it's it should be just 1080 uh, 30. Oh, that's kind of. I don't even think PlayStation Four got to do it because like the, the Pro is a God. What does the the Pro the Pro is able that, to, the, pro, the, the Pro is streaming though. I'm talking about like actual like. Oh, yeah. No. It's, it's, I, I want to say, I know the Pro has some sort of capture. Uh, it has the editing thing. I've never used it, but I'm yeah, pretty sure it's sure just... Yeah, but the I resolution think, is capped sure out somewhere. I don't think sure videos are 1080p, yeah. though. No, yeah. I never, I never knew the resolution was for recording. For streaming, they can definitely do 1080p 60. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah for streaming, yeah. But uh, Sure Factor, I don't think recorded videos are 1080p on that, if I remember correctly. But uh, hey, that's, that's good news, man. That's an upgrade, so yeah. yeah. Nice. All right, uh, Cliff Blazinski and uh, Lawbreakers. So Lawbreakers is, you know, failing real hard on PC right now. We at one point it hit below 500 concurrent um, players. Yeah, he said on PS4 it's doing fine. He said he didn't have the raw numbers, but on, he said quote unquote fine, whatever fine means. Um, and he says, you know, it's a hump. It's been a humbling experience, and. <laughs> He should probably be less of a dick when he's interacting with people online, um, and he and he said he has to keep the game alive because it's it's dying right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's possible. an Xbox sitting out. somewhere. Xbox, there's a Switch sitting on the shelf they're somewhere. They're gonna make it a free to play. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's gonna have to go free to play. But uh, as far as him being a dick, I I wholeheartedly agree with that because if you look like like I said, man, if you look at that Kroby Cat video that they did about that game pre-launch, he was very arrogant. He was very cocky. Yeah. He went out of his way to say this is not a hero shooter. It's nothing like Overwatch. It's not generic. And then the game comes out and it's generic and it's just like Overwatch yeah. without all the you know character of a of a game like Overwatch. So. He, the way he promoted was very counterproductive. Like he's just a, he's an arrogant dude. I mean, and rightfully so. He's done a lot in the game and industry, but at the same time, um, it seemed like he had on blinders to what he was making. Man, it wasn't it wasn't nothing you know to really uh, shake a stick at. Uh, I believe that's how the quote go. But uh, <laughs> you definitely need to, need to uh, get them reevaluate what the fuck he doing, man. 
if you y'all follow him on Twitter, he for like up up until launch, they were like letting people do previews of it, and then every time somebody wrote an article about it that he didn't like, he would tweet it out and be like, "Another idiot who doesn't get my game!" Like all the time, and it was like, "Oh, bro, like that's not a good way to get pre-orders." Hey, don't me. I'm so deep, a little stupid ass. Yeah, and you know what? I played that game and did not like it. I think I gave it a six. I really did not like it. Yeah, I didn't like it either. And I didn't like Overwatch, so I just knew kind of going in I wasn't going to like it. But So I, more. I played it at E3. That was like I actually got to meet him, right? you know, because they gave us a private, you know, uh, play testing. So I met him um, at the team, played the game. And right then and there, in the moment, it was like, yeah, this is cool. I can't say this is something that I definitely – I'm going to play for a long time or want to even come back to. I got the beta and then the second beta. And I probably played like maybe less than 30 games total between E3, the beta, and the other beta. And I'm like, it just, it was cool, but it didn't have no, it, it definitely ain't taking you away from PUBG over, and I don't even like Overwatch. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Just, to, just to address some comments right quick. People, I have two comments. People say I'm talking like I got hours in either one of these games. Uh, I only played Overwatch. I never played Lawbreakers. But uh, as far as them not being nothing alike, um, I clearly saw a dual wielding pistol character there. that is extremely like Reaper. Uh, in uh, oh, like y- y'all can see the fucking similarities. Let's not I mean, play stupid. Well, they have character archetypes that are very similar to characters in Overwatch. Unless you're blind or uh, mentally unable to grasp concepts of gameplay, you can see what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, I mean, I think, Stop that. I think uh. O- Overwatch is more about abilities, and um, Lawbreakers is more actually about a shooting. I think it's more of a shooting well, game it, than Overwatch is shooting, right? It's uh, still it's still very ability heavy. The way I described it in my videos, I basically said that it's Overwatch remix. So you have a character, you have a character, you have a character, you have a character that can like teleport forward and rewind time, just like Tracer, but fights a little bit different. You have a sniper who has a grapple hook, but has a different special. So it is like one hundred percent Overwatch, but somebody oh. just shoved it into a blender and then pulled it out and went, "Hey, want to buy it again?" BG, yeah. BG, very interesting. Somebody in the comments, I'm Jay God. Shout out to Jay God. He's saying I don't know exact, I don't know anything that I'm talking about. I got a, I got a great. This is great for the community. Can we invite I'm Jay God in the podcast so he can tell me why I'm wrong and what I don't know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Jay got, Jay got. Yeah, they got, come in the podcast and let everybody know since you got infinite wisdom on what the fuck going on, man. Oh, Bring yeah. the podcast to the podcast and tell us where I'm wrong. Uh, hey, but, uh, <laughs> just send me a message on Twitter if you want to come in and explain. Um, so, if you want to play yeah. something good, though, just cut you off. Sorry about that. If you want to play something good, though, Quake Champions. Quake Champions is pretty fun. That's it, a game I, I think everybody's trying. That might give Overwatch a little bit of you know, some competition. Uh, yeah, and it's just like, yo, like between you got Destiny, and I mean, not like I said, I don't like Destiny either, but you got Destiny 2 coming out. First of all, I don't think this game could be revived. You got Destiny 2 on PC coming out next week. You got PUBG out right now. You got Overwatch already existing. Ain't nobody jumping off those. And then the other top play games on PC, nobody getting off those games to play no play no lawbreakers. It's not happening. Mm-hmm. I mean, and like I'm completely addicted to PUBG. And I didn't think that was even be a game I would like. So, yeah, you're not reviving that game on PC. You might be able to sustain it on PS4, but nah. you, you It's 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 a wrap. You might as well give up on that PC version. The, the game, like I said, just to me, just didn't have enough to make you want to keep coming back for it. It's an arena shooter. There's plenty of other arena shooters that even Doom, didn't, the Doom multiplayer didn't live that long on, yeah. on PC. Even Doom didn't. So... I think they they neglected the fact that story really does matter. Story, even in a hero shooter, is actually important. Whereas, like, Overwatch, we know for a fact that Overwatch, part of the reason it's sustained so long is the community based around it, is the comics, is the forums. They didn't do any of that for Lawbreakers. Characters don't even have names. They're literally just like, this guy is the law, this guy is the breaker. They want to punch each other in the nutsack. It's like, well, I'm not going to buy that. Let's yeah. just be honest. Overwatch, the reason Overwatch is so popular is because it's made by Blizzard. Let's just be blatantly yeah, honest on that one. Yeah, that definitely, definitely helped it out. Uh, oh, absolutely. Because it's pretty, be honest, it's pretty mediocre as well. I played it and I was like, eh, I could see where it's some fun, but it's, uh, it's, 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 it's yeah. okay. And even, and even though it's $30, that, you know, you'd think inherently that would have helped it a lot, but apparently not. Um, mm-hmm. And, oh, I'm out. Then he didn't. Then he also like was like, "Oh, we don't have like." It was some man about like uh, 
the content is not like oh, other man, games. They don't do like the loot boxes and all that. And then they end up having loot boxes yeah. or some shit. Why is this? Well, it's funny that in that interview that uh, that y'all were queen, tr- that y'all were quoting, it's funny that in that exact interview he blames Destiny Two. Part of the reason he said that the game had failed is because we should have released so close to Destiny Two. It's like, dude, it was like six weeks apart. You can't exactly be like, ah, oh, dang, I shouldn't have fucking scheduled it within two months of this other game. Like, whatever, dude. <laughs> All right, well, guys, I'm getting out of here. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get to get on the PewDiePie part. That's the part I was really waiting on. But, uh, yeah, you fucked it up. But, yo, fuck PewDiePie. He's a racist. Fuck him. I don't <laughs> care if he said out of being angry. I'm getting it all out right now. I don't care if he said out of anger. He said something out of hatred towards somebody he felt would be beneath that person. So, fuck him. He's a racist. I'm gone. There you go. You got it out. All right, nice. nice. <laughs> nice. Enjoy the movie, dog. Peace. <laughs> what happened to Smooth? What the hell going on today? So, um, I mean, I, I do feel sorry for that team, though, because like I said, imagine uh, working on a game for two, three years and then like yeah. you know, you release it and, and 400 people playing it. Like, what that feel? Yeah, that's, that's, that's great. I'm sure they ain't seen that comment, man. Well, I, mean, I, I follow a lot of the, the people on Twitter because I was really curious about it. I'm a huge Cliff Blazinski fan, so I was following a lot of his team on Twitter, and you could kind of tell that they were seeing it coming because like up to launch, there was all this hype, and then all of a sudden the beta was way smaller than they expected, and you could just see that all of them were like, fuck like we just dedicated our lives to a completely failed project like we're screwed is it and i'd be wondering like what is it like in the studio it gotta be awkward like yeah we're here working on a game that already because they gotta keep it's it's probably somber man like yeah and you gotta keep showing up i mean you gotta keep showing up you gotta keep issuing patches you just gotta keep working like the the freaking factory is not on fire yeah that's that's it's gonna it's gonna have to go free to play i mean that's pretty much what it is like did y'all, uh, y'all know Brendan Green, the the guy who made uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds. He yeah. did this really interesting interview like a week ago, and he talked about the fact that while he was finishing that game, he basically had to agree. He like uh, basically found a studio that would help him make it, but it was based in South Korea, so he had to move to South Korea and like learn Korean and work with this small team. And the whole time, he's like, "I promise, Player Unknown Battlegrounds is going to be a big thing. I promise we'll sell a million copies in the first three months." And pe- like the team was like, "If we sell a hundred thousand copies in three months, we'll be extremely happy." And now it's been what six months, and it's sold ten million copies and so it's just the ultimate success story that's, crazy. Yeah, that's the other thing i was going to bring that was a topic yeah they i think they said 200 the the team the you know uh that he worked with they said they'll be lucky if it sells 200 to three th- three yeah yeah 200 to 200 thousand 300 thousand so and it blew way past that so yeah. i don't know why considering he made the daisy thing and that was like so huge i don't know why he thought so little of it well, it's just because he did. It. He couldn't guess. Like it's so hard in this environment now. It's so hard to launch a brand. So I, I give him credit for the fact that he motivated that team. I mean, he basically built the prototype, coded it, worked together with Blue Hole Entertainment. It's just man, it's crazy. That game took off way bigger than anything could ever imagine. I expected it to do numbers based on it broke, it broke another record today, right? Something about yeah. Steam. I think it was another concurrent player record or something. Like yeah, that. like the most players on Steam uh, yeah, overall. It's it just breaking records every free. They, they, they got yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. uh, know, got go ahead and uh, speak your. Yeah, go on, uh, go on, explain how how we wrong. Go on, do it. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up? <laughs> your mic kind of low. Your mic kind of low. Huh? T- your turn your mic up a little bit. Yeah. It's low. Yeah, yeah, you're quiet. How about now? Is that better? A little, little bit more. Hold on, I got to turn it up. I haven't been in Hangout since the update of the stuff, so I don't know how we got to say that. What's your uh, amazing Oregon? Okay. Huh? Oh, no, I was going to say it. Oh, there. I, I, I'll get it. That should fix it. Is that better or what? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was going off my, my, my headset. My bad. All right. So Jack was talking about with Lawbreakers, right? Okay. About how you were saying they're similar to Overwatch when yes. really they're two different games. How are they different? Well, one's an arena shooter and one's a team based shooter, correct, right? Uh hero team- shooter and arena shooter, but yeah. Right. Is that is that is that right? Jack uh, move or no? I mean Overwatch doesn't play as much as like as an arena shooter, but it's still- well, they, they they got they got a team deathmatch mode now, by the way, too. I still, well. I still- So is one an arena shooter, is one a hero shooter? That's that's the main but they both Special. have similar characters with similar uh, yeah. skills. Okay, then, then, then that's like saying that uh, 
Team Fortress is like Overwatch. Overwatch is like Team Fortress, isn't it, right? Yeah. Yo, Mike breaking up. No, I, I got a text message. She's can't come in, but. Yeah, you like, can you hear me still? Yeah, but you're a little distorted. It, it, it's breaking up. Yeah, I'm trying to talk too close to it. Hold on. Probably your connection. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, um, but like that's like saying Overwatch is like Team Fortress, then, right? I mean, it depends on how, uh, you know, like any, you could do that with anything. Like, oh, they both have feet, so it's like similar. But I'm saying, <laughs> no, because, Karen, like, Karen, because, Karen, because, Karen, because, Karen. because Overwatch is more like Team Fortress because there's class, class based system based on an objective. But arena shooters, they're just they're like, they're, yeah, there's a shooter, but they're different, though. Like, they play differently. Okay. Completely. Okay. Okay. This Overwatch is, what I was is saying. more fast paced okay. game. I understand, really, compared, I understand compared, what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I wasn't saying as much. Okay, say for instance, right? People compared uh, Battleborn, a game that came out around the same time as Overwatch, to Overwatch. Even they though they shouldn't have, they shouldn't have, they shouldn't have. Exactly, well, that's what I'm getting to. Exactly. Even though a lot of people that play both say they don't really play a lot to like, yeah. it's all about. Even if they not alike, this is the thing. It's all about perception. If something is perceived to be a certain way, uh, it's, it is what it is. So people perceive lawbreakers to be a overwatch clone with less characters i understand, I understand that but that's okay. not that's not that's not how the game is though you know what i mean it, well, it don't matter well it's like because like because like, 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 like because your perception or people i guess the majority of perception is how they feel about the game is that how the game's supposed to be that's, or what? okay that's cool that's cool but this is this is the problem perception uh -huh. is people's reality so if 500 people only 500 people are perceiving the game like you perceiving it right because there's only people playing it more. <laughs> that, so, you know, like, like you're right i mean like it's, it's like the compare count's not high i mean the game i, I think it's a fantastic game the fact that it doesn't have the players there you know i play it on pc a lot but a lot of people aren't there like that like the cradle was basically I, yeah, right. is it, that's, pretty, that's pretty. All I was saying was that you know what I'm saying. The way he tried to make the game, the way he wanted people to perceive the game, is not the way people are perceiving the game. Is pretty much what I was saying. And you can mm. agree with that, right? Well, yeah. I mean, he he kind of hyped it up or brought it up as being like you know his own thing. But I guess he made he was going off the coattails of I mean, Unreal or maybe even Gears of War or something like that. I'm not too sure why he was uh, speaking the way he was speaking. I can't defend that. I'm not going to defend the way he was saying. I'm just saying that the games are like Overwatch and Lawbreakers. They're not really like the same. They don't. It, to, to, I, to me, to me, like with the amount of hours I have them both, I'm gonna have more in Overwatch because it's been out longer. But they don't, they don't play. Like, they don't play the same though. Like, just, they just I, I mean, so I'm I'm somebody who's only probably put maybe 60 hours into Overwatch, maybe 100 hours into Overwatch, and I've put uh, 35 into, uh, or no, probably 40 or 50 into. Uh, lawbreakers and right. I feel like they have more in common than they have different and that's my problem there is so much overlap in general control style and speed pacing combat that the small differences like the fact that the capture the flag mode the ball talks to you doesn't really make it feel that different and that's just my opinion of somebody who played like a decent chunk of both yeah I, 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 I can agree with that but I think I think I guess the similarities people are getting that just the fact that just uh, hero classes, I guess you can select the one and the same in the other. I guess that's the way everybody's saying they're the same. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm sorry, it sounded like a robot. What was that saying? Yeah, you, uh, you, yeah, you're you're tripping, I'm right back. That might help. Yeah, yeah. you're Mike tripping, dog. All right. Is Bond here? What the? Bond probably drunk out his ass. Hello, hello Bond. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm here. I'm here. How, how, how's the beer fest? Up, Fucked up. Oh, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> All I gotta say is fuck that. Oh man. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, uh, Jack, Jack what, who, who won between you and Smooth last night? Uh, uh Smooth, you want to tell them, or did, should I break the news? Um, um, yeah, you break the news. I just want to see how you flip this up. Uh, Smooth got uh, well, I ain't gonna say he got body, but he definitely lost both of the matches we played. It was the best two out of three. Um, of course, I won the first two, so there was yeah, no need for a third match. And, uh, yeah, completely yeah, yeah. Games. Is that, is that, is that Smooth, you have, Smooth, you have not won anything since you joined Weapon Wheel. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I'm cursed. Maybe I should leave. <laughs> Jesus, you, you definitely cursed, dog. Not one thing, you yeah, but the thing is, I didn't win because I was worse or jack move was great it was just that these were winnable games it's just that i was just prisoner of fuckery and, um, <laughs> my, them 2k shenanigans almost gave you that second match oh, yeah. Yeah. but oh, yeah. it's, it's okay i i think i think smooth, i can be smooth what you need to do is you need to challenge dr train in the game and maybe you might be able to win something oh 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 yeah dr can get it dr can get it that might be the move for you smooth 
Yeah, you you gonna have to pick on somebody. It's like you can't be in Weapon Wheel if you're gonna keep losing that. I, the thing is, I can beat every member of Weapon Wheel in a game. They just want to buy or play that damn fucking game. What, I what game play. is that? Uh, I, I can beat you in like 2K and Madden and live. I, I and, haven't played a basketball game in about eight years, so I hope so. And I think I can beat Hard Eight in Madden and in, in, in 2K as well. It's just that. Well, wait, 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 so you can beat Hard Eight in Madden? I, I believe so. Oh, don't cut like Madden. Sleep. Sounds like a challenge. Well, you you need to start buying games on a platform that people actually play first. That's that's the first thing. I'm trying to smooth, he's talking to me. No, he's talking, talking to me. Smooth. Ain't nobody play on Xbox. We should know that by now. I know. I don't know why you bought that game on Xbox. You know everybody playing on PS4, fam. I, well, I didn't buy it. I got EA Wait, Miss Moore, you got Madden on, P- uh, on Xbox? EA Access. Oh, I ain't know. My that. hours. That ain't hours going to last me. That the hours going to last me till January till the game becomes free. Yeah. <laughs> as unfortunate as it may sound, like the Switch has put the Xbox into the doldrums. It's like an irrelevant system now. Ah uh, nah 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 it's it's not relevant until until autumn uh third parties that's on Xbox become like a standard on a switch and he, the player count starts outnumbering the Xbox then we could talk smooth ain't nobody checking for the box man switch is selling out and everybody's on PlayStation and wait till that box. X come I mean I mean like Halo Gears for the, the it's it's over man like they've released their biggest guns and didn't do anything wait wait, wait just wait till the X come <laughs> to the XCOM. As a Just wise what? man, as a wise man once said, X gonna give it to you. Yes. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> X gonna give it to you, please. <laughs> Pretty much. Yo, no, no premium system is changing the landscape. Period. We're in different times, man. Yeah, different. What, what's selling more, the Pro or the regular PS4? That the uh, regular PS4. Thank you. They didn't, but the thing is, they didn't even advertise the Pro until like just this year. What, what, what's selling? What's oh shit. Jeez. That person cannot Montez. park. Uh, what? No, they just crashed into the curb. Uh, what? 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 What, <laughs> what the fuck? What sells more, a 1060 or a 1080 Ti? Uh, what? Uh, okay, I understand. I I get it. I get it. The Xbox One X is gonna is gonna be the difference. It's not gonna hmm. be the difference. It, it's gonna be it's gonna be that premium console that sells better than what it should have. Even Spencer said that the S will sell better than the, than the it, S. It will over time, of course. No, forever, for now and forever. I guarantee you the S won't outsell the X in November. I don't think it will. I mean, I mean we Black won't Friday, never know. All the, you think the S is not going to get Black Friday sales? It will, but I'm just saying. Well, and, and I think the, the S is also going to get a sales boost now that they've officially discontinued the original model. So now if you want to get a cheap Xbox, there's only one place you can go. Gotta get the S. Mm. Gotta get that S. Uh, how, how many... And this is not this is not like me trying to cover what you see, but how many times does Xbox have to like disappoint you for you to give up on them? <laughs> disappoint. Oh, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> no, it's the real question. Like, a good question. Like, I, you I put agree. Faith in See, them that there's nothing that's going to change, I, uh, make Xbox be not my default console. The thing is, the problem is I already bought into the ecosystem, so it's, it's kind of hard to buy out of it. It's, it's the primary place I play my games on. You see, so no matter how many PlayStation uh, exclusive PlayStation get, I will buy it and play those exclusive on PlayStation, but it would never be my primary console to play games on. Right. I mean, Why, that's, that's what that's what happened to me. So and that, that happened during the 360 stage. So it's not like, yeah, it would be. I would so, have so, to really get my profile up on PlayStation now to be bought into like PlayStation 5 yes. and 6 and stuff. So, so uh, here's so, a better question because everybody at one point's primary used to be Nintendo. And yeah. it, it hit the point where we just said enough is enough and we went over to PlayStation. Yeah, Xbox. but there, there's no online profile in history that follows you, followed you from those games online to profile now. It, it's it's a big games. deal. It's bigger than what you think it is. I mean, it's like, who cares? That's like, never it's, like, it's like Steam Valve being like, all right, we got this new Steam 2.0, but all your shit from Steam, original Steam is gone. Who cares? Gotta, who cares about your, who cares about your games ain't going to carry over. Even though it's your PC, that's, like if you own the Steam that license is, on that, that shit, it's not going to carry over. That is completely different. Your games. No, but it's, it's, it's okay. Okay. So it's, compared it's to be- never compared to Neverland meaningless. Cheap. So it's, it's bean wise syndrome. You're just afraid to leave at this point. <laughs> it's not even that I'm afraid. It's just that I, I'm just so like, 
I got too much invested into it. Like, I, <laughs> Bro, I got too, it, I got too, it, too, it, too it, deep in the ecosystem. It's a, is what he's he's a classic. You don't have anything invested into uh, it. I have hundreds I upon have, thousands I, of upon thousands more, of dollars. I have stock in AMD, so I have more invested in that, it. That's funny. I say I, we're both stakeholders. You're stakeholders in stocks. I'm stakeholder in actually being a consumer of the like playing the games and stuff. So. Oh, oh God, I, I'm gonna have to hang up on you on that because my Uber is here to move. <laughs> that was just an asinine statement. My ride's here, clown. <laughs> <laughs> Dude said he, he is invested by a playtime. I wish. Not well, I well, I'm spending money. I'm like investing. That. I invested that's, many. Yeah, that's we like, all invested in our that's consoles. Like the, that's like the doctor saying he's invested in damage control. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man, I'll catch you guys later. All right, all right. Thanks for the drive-by. And he did it. He pulled up on you real quick. And <laughs> yeah, out. damn. Oh, man. Let me see what else we got left. Uh, I mean, Jay got were you done with your argument or you wanted to, like, finish? Well, I think we're kind of off topic, way off topic now. So, so to you guys who want to keep going on it. Well, you're still sounding like a robot, so we can. So I, yeah, I think I'm being throttled by at and is probably what it is. Oh, wow. Honest. Well, yeah. appreciate you pulling up, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Pull up. laughs> maybe, maybe some other time. Maybe some other time, then. Yeah. All right, then. All right, later. Uh, Bayonetta and Vanquished might come to PS4. Well, I think that's 100%. PS4 and Xbox. Vanquished, probably, definitely. Uh, it's probably a combo pet, right? Yeah. That's what the rumor is. Yeah, or it's like a leaked retail listing. Yeah. I, uh, if y'all don't know, <laughs> Beat Vanquish on PC. That was the first time I played it because I never played it on PS3. Um, them frame rates was terrible, by the way. <laughs> like on, uh, on the PS3 version. Oh uh, yeah, on PS3 version. Yeah, on the PS3 version. Um, uh, played it on PC, and I did the challenge. You know, for I, if if it come well, if it comes out on PS4, I highly recommend y'all beat the game and do the six challenges. That shit will make you crazy. I managed to do it. It it was a great challenge. If you're somebody that likes hard, difficult challenges. It's pretty much they throw the hardest waves of enemies at you uh, in the challenge mode, and it's it's nuts. So, yeah, it's a good game, though. Uh, I don't think I'll ever like a game made by Platinum Games. I just I don't like their style of gameplay. But uh, I'm more interested in the other leaked uh, Sega rumored uh, HD uh, remaster, which would be a Shenmue 1 and 2 pack. Hell because, uh, yeah. And I'm sure Dreamcast guy can appreciate this. Uh, I played it. I played the hell out of Shenmue One, man. I think I beat that game. I beat the game at least three times. I think I was working on another playthrough when I stopped. Uh, never played Shenmue Two. Never got to play Shenmue Two. So, and like I said, it's been rumored since like 2012. So, yep. I would, bro. That that would be very dope to me. Like, I, I really want to play Shenmue Two. So, hopefully, that do come out. Yeah, I'm so excited for that. I mean, I I love those games so much. But there's been always been the problem of like you could never there's a thing built in so you're supposed to be able to play straight from Shinmu one, save it, and then continue it in yep, Shinmu no. two, and you've never been able to do that. And so it'll be great to finally for the first time really be able to do that. Oh man. Would well, be very fun. Cool. Alright. All right, let me see. Uh oh, PlayStation revealed that that boring terrible looking call of duty world war Two. <laughs> did you say boring? <laughs> boring extremely boring i mean it was they didn't even try with that custom console they didn't even try uh, it, it's I mean, just it's just yeah. camouflage it was like it was so generic yo you can literally go on um one of the one of these websites that have ps4 skins mm -hmm. and, and get the exact same thing <laughs> i mean it's, I, it's, I, it's, I can pull it up like, I mean, it's pretty much just a camouflage, like, yeah, like, I mean, it wasn't nothing like, you know, it's a default fucking pattern, so, I mean, it's gonna sell because it's called a duty regardless. I do like the controller they added with it, like, a, it's like an olive green joint. The controller think, is nice. I like the controller. But, uh, I think it's gonna be the worst selling Call of Duty, though, definitely. Really? No, I, I think... No, I think so. No, yeah, I think so. My now, a lot of people, a lot of people said they're not no, getting it. They're no. not gonna be Call of Duty. Well, they said it every this year. This is the though. first one I'm not yeah. buying. This my theory is this is going to be the last good selling Call of Duty, and I'm serious about that. I think that this is going to be the final peak. Everyone's going to jump on the hype train. They're already showing you Call of Duty from 2018. It's a female on the cover. They already got the cover out. 
Well, I mean, they're they're already trying to get their cards in order, but I guarantee you, I think uh, I never seen them announce another Call of Duty or show another Call of Duty on top of the Call of Duty that did not come out. It's a leak, though. That's not announcing. I mean, well, I mean, it is a leak, but I mean, they're already talking about it. I never seen them do that. Well, we we saw that this year. They right after uh, like once uh, Infinite Warfare was out, somebody already literally had a physical copy of the case. Nah, no, 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 you didn't hear what I said. It's not out yet, though. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not um, out yet. I'm I'm pretty sure I don't got I don't know this for sure, but I feel like Ghost is probably one of the worst selling Call of Duty. I don't I, think it was gonna beat that. I think Ghost ended up selling well. It's weird, you know, the best selling one of all time was the Modern Warfare Three. The most hated one is also the best selling one. Mm. Yeah. I think people. I mean, people gonna buy it regardless, man. You know, people always they 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 That's all they sell, all bro. talk, man. They all talk, bro. I, I'm not buying it. I'm done. Then they end up buying, you know, a couple of copies of it. Like, come on, man. A yeah, couple copies. <laughs> you know how people be, bro. <laughs> They're gonna be like, you know what? I'm not gonna get more than like six this year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the special edition, dog. Fuck that shit. Like, no, nah, fam, stop that. Do, do y'all remember when uh, Modern Warfare Two was about to come out and those uh, guys uh, robbed that truck? There was like a truck driving down the street full of copies of it, and these two dudes jumped out with a uh, full ski gear on and oh, tear, yeah, gas, yeah. tear gas grenades, and they bombed the truck and stole like four thousand copies of the game. It's like, <laughs> <Stop> <laughs> like what yeah, the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, what are you gonna <laughs> put them bitches on eBay? <laughs> yeah, what one at a time. Motherfuckers yep. did a GTA heist on Call of Duty. I know. It's just like, come on, buddy. Like, you're like, all right, kill confirmed. Let's do this. <laughs> now my dad will respect me. I've got 4,000 copies of Call of Duty. That's, That's crazy. crazy. That is crazy. Like, what the fuck? That's a big loss. Yeah, I do remember that happening a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah that was just so funny. I just, I mean, I literally pictured those dudes sitting in a parking lot trying to sell. Like, anybody want a sealed copy? Five bucks each. Just buy me, buy me a beer. We'll be even. They they probably got them off though. Like that's probably the game. They probably, they yeah, they probably moved them things. Discount price, yep. Stores buy got, like that. got jail time for that though. That's not something worth getting jail time over. Oh, bro, you get caught for doing that jail asses. Yeah, that's a very serious crime. That's armed robbery, dog. Yeah, you ain't coming out. <laughs> so that's a very serious crime. Bro. <laughs> you'll get out of some shit like that. They're gonna, yeah. they're gonna sit you down, dog. You you'll, you'll oh, get out just you? in time for Call of Duty World War Three. <laughs> and then you, bro, if you got how much. Yeah, that's that's a lot of jail time, bro. Four thousand copies. You know how much money that is? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's a yeah, that's a yeah, that is um quite a yeah, few. Yeah, it's done. True, true. Hey, not true, fit for true. society. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Uh last patron question. Um what underrated game from last gen would you like to see remastered? Mm. Enslaved Odyssey to the West. That's a good choice. Good choice. Let me think for a second. Yeah. I remember this question. I answered that already. It was yeah, uh, always Wrath. It was always Wrath for me. I would say Nino Cooney, Wrath of the White Witch. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, I would say uh, Red Faction Guerrilla. Wow, that's, that's very, very underrated. Yeah. Extremely. Smooth. Underrated. They had um, a really good online, too. A lot of people don't know. There's, there's a quite a few games I want, but I'm going to say from last generation or from any gen? Last generation. Last gen. Uh, I want um, either uh, Cameo Elements of Power or, cr or Condemned Criminal Origins. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Matter of fact, no. Full auto with the cloud computing technology, whatever the, the crackdown shit that was supposed to be. No, I was with you. I was with you before you played that one. <laughs> now, you ever played full auto? No. Oh, my God. God, talk about combat racing. That was like one of the best combat racers I played. Mm. That was one of BG type games right there. You like destroyed the city as you were like shooting like missiles from like your trunk and whatnot. It was pretty dope. I met uh, one of the guys who made Full Auto. It was like somebody who grew up here in Dallas, Texas. And he was talking about like that was one of those games that they finished really early. Like they finished it like, okay, cool. We made a really fun racing game. Well, what if we made some destructible environments? Okay, cool. All right. How destructible can environments get? And so it's like, they just kept making it, making it, making it like, okay, cool. Let's just release it. We literally are blowing up the whole goddamn world. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty dope. You, I'm, so I'm assuming you had an experience with it, right? A little bit. He forced me to play it. He came over to my house one day and sat me down. And I, I mean, I played probably two or three hours and it was fun, but I never played it again. I thought it was pretty dope. If you haven't checked it out, check out Florida. I think Florida was, I think they came out with two of them. One of them um, I, was on PlayStation 3, I believe, Fallout 2. Uh, okay, so then the Nintendo Switch got an app update finally that lets you 
uh, use the chat feature while your phone is locked or while you're multitasking because before you know to talk to use you know the voice chat feature you could not do anything it completely held your phone hostage and you can do nothing else so i mean i've heard some nintendo fans saying well i don't know if they nintendo fans they have nintendo switches <laughs> i want to call them diehard fans and nothing like that but they're saying they're not going to support this app because they it people are still against it you know it shouldn't be this way it should be natively on the switch but we yeah. the update they they had it leaked. Uh, somebody found out that uh, voice chat is in fact built into the Switch. Somebody right. found out that in Splatoon two, when you're in the same room, you can actually do voice chat through the console. So I don't know. I still think this is super stupid. No matter how much they update that app, it just seems like the dumbest move ever. Agreed. I mean, like 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 I'll say, it's an improvement. However, it's it's inexcusable that it's not natively on the system. I mean, having it on the phone is a nice option. But uh, and the switch is a system all about options. I get on the Damn, party's going now, I guess. Fuck out the million man march. What you doing? This motherfucker at a party, dog. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, don't mind me, gentlemen. I'm on a podcast. (laughs) What the hell? Oh, well, what else? Oh, yeah, came on and shit. Uh, (laughs) The switch is a system all about options. You know, uh, the way you play the games, you know, the input methods that you play the games, the way that you play the games, you know, docked, undocked. So the fact that they're being so proprietary with the voice chat is very, uh, it's, it's counter, uh, productive to what they're trying to promote, man. It's all about options. So why don't I have the option to natively chat on the goddamn system, man? So <laughs> they definitely got to improve that. I was about to hit the salsa, the merengue. Or one well, I don't know what the fuck that was. Like he was at the, uh, the I BT was about to hit it. Man, I got the moves too. No, you don't. You, I, yeah. bro, I got the moves, man. No, fam, you built like Jack Skellington. Doing them dances really ain't that hard. It's like, it's <laughs> you, like a you built like the king of Halloween Town, fam. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a two step motion. All their dances is like two step motion. That's all it is. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's a, it's a two step with a little bit more swerve in it. That's all it is. All right. They try to make it seem like it's real technical and calm. Nah, it's, it's just it's just a two step. That's all it. right. Um, all right, so last topic we got, and it's uh, we all we I know we all tired of talking about it by now, you know, because it happened at the beginning of the week. You know, we've been talking about it on Twitter, we've been on podcasts talking about it already, but and I, we don't got to spend a whole lot of time on it. But PewDiePie was live streaming PUBG, he said, nigger, you know, a lot of his base is defending it. Uh, afterwards, after he said it in a, in a separate live stream, he started like, you know, playing with, playing with the word or, you know, straying around the word saying nibba, um, which really, and, and in the live stream, he even said like, when he said it, the one he said it in, he said, nobody who watches this is going to be angry. Which So, I mean, that tells you something. Yeah. Um, he knows his user base and he knows his user base wasn't going to give a fuck because he even said it. And he said something else. Uh, he said something else that just like really shows his character in that live stream. And you know the whole shit on social media, people you know defending him, and all this crazy shit, man. And then the D and Campo Santo, the developers of Firewatch, uh, issued a, a DMCA takedown. He got a copyright strike. Um, there's debate whether or not you know the way they did it is legit. So, I mean, y'all can talk about it as much as y'all want or as much as y'all don't want to. Uh, I mean, um, you know, he shouldn't have said it. Like I said, I've been having, somebody tried to argue me this. Uh, PewDiePie has, last time I checked, I believe 57 million subscribers. So, just off the rip by that and tons of uh, sponsors, he makes roughly 12 to 15 million dollars off of YouTube. You know what I'm saying? With smart ships and video views and all that. So, and, and people try to argue this. With, with with clout like that, bro, with a status like that, you're hell to a higher standard. I don't you can't compare what PewDiePie say to what somebody like BG Hard Eight Me say. All right, we're not making millions of dollars off this. Don't nobody spawn. Y'all barely hit our like button, right? So y'all can't hold us <laughs> to the and we've said shit that we shouldn't have said before. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's guilty of that, but he should be held to a higher standard. Uh he also he has a large contingent of young children watching him, very impressionable children very. watching him. Um 
Me personally, was I offended by it? I don't watch PewDiePie content. His content offends me, right? Because I don't think he's an entertaining person. But um, <laughs> like I said, man, him saying it wasn't the offensive part. Uh, like he shouldn't have said it, right? But what was more offensive is just the 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 outpouring of support and oh, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be offended by groups of letters put together. They're just yeah. words. Why are you getting offended by words? And oh. then, you know, these same people turn around and get offended by words, ironically, right? So yeah. a lot of it you was not, just a dumbass situation. Bro. I watched the uh, the live stream, you know, because there's a the whole version. You know, a lot of people just seen the short one. Yeah. After he said the word, he got donations, and you know how you can write <laughs> what you want. Yeah. Check it out. I lie to you not. You can go look it. He, you know how you can write. You know what whatever uh, you know message you want. He yeah. got support like after he said the word and they even said it like oh you said you said this word you know i support this like no lie he got support go watch the video they was like yo i fuck with they was pretty much saying yo pewdiepie you said the n-word i fuck with you bro like yeah oh, if, well, if you really look up to somebody and they do something messed up like that your brain thinks it's okay like i'm a huge huge lover of total biscuit i'm a giant fan of his work he's definitely one of my professional heroes and if he started dropping like very colorful language would definitely make me be like, man, how can he think that's okay? Is that more okay that I'm thinking? Like, what the fuck? I mean, Pretty much. And here's the thing, like, people were deflecting all week, you know, talking about, well, what about the things you've said, BG? I'm like, here's the thing about when I've said crazy shit, right? I've never defended the shit I've said. And you definitely have never seen nobody defend me for the foul shit I've said. This man has like the whole not the whole but practically the whole fucking like youtube fan base defending him for saying something like this like nobody defended me but everybody defended him like that's a problem yes that's, that's just crazy. well here's the first thing about the real problem it's not even black and white what i'm about to say the problem with somebody like pewdiepie doing what he did hello the fuck are you i think came back came, came back to rent man I came back in this bitch. You already know it. Oh, let me just say this real fast. The problem, the problem with what, what he did, right? He's responsible for like pretty much the whole YouTube gaming community. So when he do something like that, he messes it up for everybody. He's not even black. Oh yeah, they ain't doing all that. Yeah, like he, yeah, he messes it up for everybody. Right. So everybody should be like, "Yo, chill out." Never even about, "Oh yeah, he said something cool." Or so you went up. Stop fucking people's business up. And listen, like people, this whole new. You you gotta love this new narrative. I've never. This is like yeah. I love when people like just suddenly change rules to like defend something. Suddenly, though, I, I, I missed the memo. Someone oh, talking about it. Like, huh? like I, I got on the. Wow. What the hell, Tick doing? That's what can take. I got on the like we got on the internet that day, and it's like prior to that day, words meant shit, and then after. People heard PewDiePie say this. Suddenly, words didn't mean shit. Like I'm like, I I'm, I'm so stupid, bro. I'm like, when did this happen? Listen, people who people who are saying this, right? Words, you know, it's just words. Words don't hurt. Nobody cares about words. I'm like, okay, let me let let a dude walk in the mall. You walk in the mall with your girl, or your or your or your mother, right? And some random dude just walks up to you, be like, yo, I'll fuck your mother in the ass right now. You gonna tell me? You gonna look at that man and be like, you know what? Those are just words. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> you know what it is though? A lot most people that are saying this, they they the only life they've ever known or social life they've ever known is on the internet, right? So they come from a they come from a a culture of you know telling people, you know, telling people whatever they want to tell them and having no repercussions behind it, right? But if you actually out in any type of streets, it don't matter where the fuck you at, man, you just can't talk to anybody any type of way bro like somebody gonna fuck around backhand you and you're gonna be looking stupid like <laughs> words definitely matter they definitely have that's just stupid that's the reason things like a dictionary exists to explain what the fuck words mean man well, stop being stupid stop being silly y'all know what y'all doing bro and i just get tired of people oh you getting offended by this you must be a you must be a social justice warrior or no nigga i don't want you saying that shut the fuck up like this is silly bro well it's people don't realize the the reason I have a problem with that word specifically, like um, a lot of my family is from uh, Kenya, specifically in Africa, so I have uh, strong ties to the African Americans. But more than that, my problem with the N word specifically is the fact that America has just such a heavy history 
with that word, you can't just throw it out anymore. I feel like it's where it's a very special messed up word. You can't just be like, well, it's, it's whatever. It's whatever. It's like, no, we, we've had a long history with that term. You can't just pretend that it's, you know, like the, the word fuck. It's not that kind of cuss word, you know? pretty much oh yeah there's other thing oh he just had a heated game at the moment guys you know stuff like that tends to blurt out like no no fam no well, fam. I, I said this before but my main thing that got me was when i saw people actually defending the word and using like um gay slurs and correct connecting it the main thing that i was trying to say and people no one had an answer for this if anybody got an answer for it they could tell me now how do you use days of oh the word is the same as the uh, n-i-g-g-a word but how do you use n-i-g-g-e-r the right way there's a oh uh he didn't say it that way, and it was taken out of context. How do you take N-I-G-G-E-R out of context? He said it. So people were saying, oh, he didn't mean it that way. He said it that way. He said the specific one that you say when you say something racist. So I'm waiting for somebody to explain that to me, because nobody can explain that to me. Now everybody's like, like, oh, he didn't mean it that way. That's what I'm saying, like context. Like Tick said, he said it in, he was angry at the time, and he said it in a hateful way. He said a hateful exactly. word in a hateful way. So that's all the context you need, man. I mean, and the thing is, like, with human behavior is like, you know, speech patterns is in moments of quote unquote, you know, where you get frustrated, you only say words that you typically already use. Like people have seen me play PUBG, right? And they see me have these heated gaming moments. What, what always comes out of my mouth? Oh, Fuck. yeah, that was definitely a go to word for him. <laughs> Fuck motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. Fuck something yeah. like that. You know, like you ain't never heard you ain't never heard me say something out something that you don't normally hear bg say you know otherwise oh, right okay. so okay. what he said had to be something he uses otherwise yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it was something he was comfortable it rolled off his tongue yeah exactly yeah so i mean like i didn't make a personal like you know uh actual video on it on my channel because i felt like you know people it, Either people are going to get it or they're not going to get it. A video, for the most part, I think it's not going to change their mind. The people who get it and know why it's not okay, know it's not okay. The people who think it's okay, they're just going to keep thinking it's okay. I mean, it, it, so I don't want to waste too much time talking about it on my yeah. Well, the, so I made a video about it, but I was kind of addressing the, uh, the whole DMCA part, the whole Campo Santo. That's... Like, as people who talk about video games online, that's just a scary extra layer to this, is the fact that PewDiePie said that, and then somebody who didn't like that he said that managed to legally take down one of his videos. And it's just kind of like, man, like, I, I don't know, it's scary to think of, like, a company just legally taking down anything. Like, just yeah. randomly and, taking out gaming videos. Yeah, and that, we, all face that, we all face that if we put gaming content on our channel. But they, yep, do that uh, yeah. time, they had a right to do that. We don't even know about the games. That yep, adds yeah. to what Jimmy was talking about, though, because, like, you know, PewDiePie, he opened up Pandora's box with this, man. Like, yep. the whole anti-Semitic thing, adpocalypse. Now, it didn't get to the point where, oh, uh, say, Vince, you stream in 2K, and you say something 2K don't like. like oh, oh shit, you, you play like a homo. Next thing you yeah, know? Well, oh, he called this guy, like, anything, yeah, anything, like, yeah, just saying anything. So, they could be like, oh, we don't like that type of vernacular uh, being displayed with our gameplay. We got to file a copyright strike. You know what I mean? So, yeah, they'll, they'll put keywords in that fucking program. And if exactly. You speak, your videos flag. This shit's a strike. They take your shit down. So, he, yeah, he could make it worse for us. So, even if, I mean, it's a lot of hateful motherfuckers out there that, that don't think PewDiePie did anything wrong. But at the same time, bro, he's directly affecting your money on YouTube. So, I don't see how <laughs> yeah. anybody is defending this. And my thing is like, People are saying he's not racist. I I need I need a, a number, someone to give me an actual number. How much racist shit do you have to say to be racist? I just need a number <laughs> because this is this is not the first time. This is at least the third or fourth time that we know of that I, that I know of that he's done something like directly racist. So I just need a number. <laughs> someone would give me a number. I mean, I don't I don't care about all that, man. I mean, if he is, he is. I mean, I just I hope he'll be upfront about it, like his defenders are. Like they. Well, who we talking about? PewDiePie, PewDiePie stuff. Yeah. yeah, PewDiePie. They pretty direct about it now. So. Mm -hmm. oh, man. Here's my only concern about this whole situation, right? Because, with the, if you're looking at like just in general and and how society's taking it, like you know, PewDiePie's popular. You know, you got other people that are popular, and I feel like it's now being social. It's I guess it's it's like this push. For it to be like socially acceptable to be uh prejudiced and stuff like that i feel like there's like it's like for anybody who uh speaks up about 
mm-hmm. somebody being racist or discriminatory or, or anything like that, there's going to be a whole army of people to like paint that, oh, there's just being SJW, leftist, liberal bullcrap and all that stuff. And they like complete, it completely ignored the fact that somebody did something wrongful and they'll put that whole to like, oh, well, you're this and uh, you're just doing that. That's not that's uh, you can't let that affect you and stuff like that. And I feel like that's the wrong way to go about it. And, it, and it's scary because now to the point it's like, all right, well, everybody like if somebody says what my last two videos about the, you know, PewDiePie or even the dude sending me a bunch of messages on my Xbox saying, Nigger, 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 right? Yeah, I saw that. You, if you read the oh, comment wow. section, you read the comment section, and I'm being attacked for just sharing it. Like, like people yeah. are like, oh, but aren't you? But you use the 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 fag word, and you 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 the last person that should be uh, telling somebody not to use this word and stuff like that. I'm like, yo, it's like people want to ignore the fact that what's being said or what's being done. Yeah. And they want to give a counter to, of the reason why it's okay or why I shouldn't be upset, you know? Yeah, well, and that's that's the annoying part to me is when people say, like, you don't have a legitimate grievance where it's like, hey, uh, this whole situation, this is how I feel about it. And people will be like, that's that's not legit. Shut up. You know, like, suffer in silence where it's like, no, I, I just want to talk about this interesting event. Like, uh, I know Jim Sterling at one point, who's considered like a giant SJW, he took a picture. He was playing uh, the new Deus Ex game, and he took a picture of his game where, like, these two news anchors are talking about SJWs. And he's like, oh, I've never seen that in a video game. And he took a picture, and everyone was like, you don't have a right to tweet about that. You can't t- even pretend you're offended. It's like, I'm not. What, what, what the <laughs> hell? Like, I just thought it was funny. Why is everyone blowing up on me? What the hell? Yeah. yeah. It made people extra defensive, man. It definitely did. Yeah, I mean, and people the, taking uh, sides. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like if after I think it would have easily blown over because at the end of the day, it is what it is. But I feel like it didn't become a problem until people start to rationalize or, or to justify yeah, yeah, what they yeah. said. I was like, dude, I would have been over it a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, and you know, like you, like y'all said, you can't tell somebody, you know, what to be offended by, especially if it's a word that wasn't meant to offend your culture. You can't, you can't, like, it wasn't meant to offend you. So, of course, it's going to, like, just breeze right by your head. It was never meant to do nothing to you. You don't it crazy, it, though? It was, yeah. it was never meant to, you know, do, it never did anything to your history. So, why would you care? You know what's crazy, though, BJ? What's up? People will be offended by fucking pieces of plastic. But God forbid somebody said the N-word. You shouldn't be offended about that. <laughs> People be offended about what I say about Nintendo. But you dropped the N-bomb? No, you shouldn't be offended about that. that. That's just a word. Nintendo isn't a word. It's more no. than a word. Exactly. Nintendo is fucking life. And he's right, because people who literally was doing shit like that was up there like... What do you mad for? It's just a word. I'm like, yeah, can you tell me not how to feel about the word, though, though? And, and yeah, people are telling Bond go die because what, what I have to say about Xbox and Nintendo and PlayStation. And, and I was on uh, what's his another podcast, and he he actually thought that was on the news. Like, if you if you want uh, like PewDiePie to fake to face real backlash, he doesn't need to offend a race. He needs to offend gamers. You offend gamers, these motherfuckers are gonna take you down. Yeah, like, they're gonna dox his house and all. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. that will upset. It. If you offend somebody as a gamer, offend, yeah. they they are going all at you. But you you disrespect the race, they're like, nah, that's okay. You can do that all day long. Just don't offend us as gamers. That that's crazy. Yeah. It's just, it's just like I said, bro. It's just the culture we live in. Like nothing should offend you. Like it, it's two types of people, right? Either everything is, you know, the way they view like social justice, where everything offends certain people, or you're so hard and tough, nothing's supposed to offend you. You know, like, it's, it's just stupid, bro. Like, well, look, nothing offends you unless it offends the corporation you're corporate slaving for. I, mean, I guess, man. It's just ridiculous. I personally have never been offended. Actually, I'm just a robot. I just absorb <laughs> data and then I just spit out facts. That's how people want you to be, man. Yeah, that, that's a real NPC right there. Yeah. Hey, there, was, there was dudes on Twitter telling me they've, they've, the last time they were offended was when they were 11 years old. I'm like, if you don't shut up, get out of here. Nah, people be what killing me. Bro? Stop lying. 
People go out of their yeah. way to look so tough on the internet. My favorite real thing real somebody fair. said today is that they practice their freedoms daily. I'm like, wait, wait, you, you practice your freedoms? It's you true. Practice is freedom. That's just something you effortlessly live. I actually, I wake up, I smack myself in the face with the Declaration of Independence, I <laughs> scream a couple times, and then I walk out in the street because you know what? I can do what I want. <laughs> smack myself. Crazy, though. Hey, whatever gets you off, man. <laughs> oh my god. Um. So yeah, we, I don't think none of us got uh, anything else to say about that. We are. Um. Where's Hard at today? Man, that man. He had to brew fest with you, ain't I? You heard from him. <laughs> He's in the bed. Isn't it his girl's birthday or something like that? No, that was last week. I mean, if, week. if he told, if mean, if that was what it was. No, no, because he said he was going to be out one of these Saturdays. He was here last week. Yeah, that no, was last week. No, no, it came out, remember? It's a little crazy. Bond has been in here less, but he said more words. <laughs> Wait a minute, so who's like getting so. docked this episode? Come on, man. Oh, that'll bring uh, who is getting uh, Nintendo? Uh, 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 I need somebody to get Nintendo Switch docked this episode. Right? Get, listen, man. It's, well, we, we, we let's not talk about that publicly, but you know. That's why I wanted to get docked. Um, no, nah, I'm, I'm just joking. By the way, I don't, I don't care about nothing. I, no, I got docked. Yeah. I was just joking. I mean, if y'all want to dock y'all sales, hey man, listen. I ain't gonna uh, turn it down. I don't think we got nothing else left. We got eight minutes, so y'all can um. Y'all can freestyle if you want. I'm looking if there's anything else we ain't bring up. All right, hold on. I got, yeah. I got, I got yeah. something to say. I got something to say. Yeah, how, come in the, how come in the new Metroid game on 3DS, you have to use the circle pad? You can't use the D-pad. Yeah, that's a good question. I, I have no idea. I, I like uh, a lot of stuff about that. My biggest problem is that I do think it's a little bit repetitious. You like go to a new area. It's like find 8 DNA. You unlock the door. Find 10 DNA. Like It's a lot of like... Go into an area, kill the five bosses. Go to the next area, kill the five bosses. Well, they, oh, couldn't, really do, they couldn't really do much with the game as it's a remake. Like, yeah, it, it's the yeah. foundation oh. that's set. Let me, uh, let me respond to somebody in the comment section real quick. Everybody says send this guy Rich Homie Al for the uh, the link to the podcast. No offense to Rich Homie Al, I don't, I don't know you, sir, but you, you, you have a default profile picture on YouTube right now. now if, if I can't entrust in you, sir, to actually make a profile picture on YouTube, I don't know if we can entrust you with the link to this podcast. That, that sounds very, um, that should be real. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a, 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 I told what's the name? You gotta change your profile pic before I make you a mod. Cause he's in the he was in the chat like every single all my live streams. But I was like, bro, you gotta change that profile pic. <laughs> you look like a real person to me unless you change your profile pic. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like I can't trust nobody without a well, profile. Chad's filling up with all the people that just know letters for her pictures. Yeah, I don't trust those. Yeah, because I can't I can't trust your letters. Let her, man. The least you could do if you come on, man. Yeah, I don't trust those. Yeah, I can't I can't trust just a letter, man. The least you could do if you come on, man. It's looking real spooky. <laughs> Tight fit, man. Jesus, this car excuse me. Me? What are you doing? I said, Is this car gonna fit in the garage? Oh, okay. okay. I thought you, oh, all right, all right, okay. Jack, right. get your gotta get add some your, context to what you're talking about, man. Yo, get, your, get, your, <laughs> get your petite mind out of the gutter. It's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> pull this one up and see. I'll catch you guys later. No, I, I, you I, do for. I, had, I had a door holding. I made my appearance today more so than other people. <laughs> oh shit! Shots. The same. Hey, we have an after show today, bro. Where everybody at? About to have an after show nap. But oh, I'm about man, to fucking have. Is... Oh, yeah. also by the way, Triple G is about to destroy Canelo tonight. Oh, I need to. I need to see that. My fault. Paying for it? You, you paying for it, Jack? <laughs> huh? You paying for it? No, that's why I ain't gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah, mean, but Triple G's Triple G is about to own him. Or are, you, are you about to watch it BG style? Oh no, no, no! We can't talk I mean, about listen, that. The, I was watching that, uh, you know, the Mayweather fight in HD online for free. Hey, they just, hey, they just oh. a little Twitch dog. That was kind of lit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, man. Well, Mayweather already rich. What I'm paying him for? <laughs> Bro, you how much money that fight made, bro? On pay per view, boss. God damn. Uh, here first. I mean, I'll catch you guys. All right. Is Bond hanging out with a guy right now? What's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard him holding a door for somebody. I heard, I heard a guy talking. He talking about that's a nice, that's a tight fit. Hold on, man. Wait a minute. <laughs> there are many ways for a tight fit to happen, Brian. No discrimination. True, Ooh. true. You know what? You're right. You're right. We real accepting over here at the Weapon Wheel Podcast, man. Let <laughs> Bond be the best Bond that he can be, man. Shout out to Bond, dog. And it makes him happy. 
<laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh man. Um yeah, I don't got we got we owe these people four minutes, so I mean we could just do we really owe them four minutes though? I mean it could be kind of <laughs> I remember we, we ended two minutes early and someone tried to pull up on me about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean they've been real disrespectful lately. I mean, I don't know, dog. What's uh y'all wanna randomly what what are y'all playing this week? Who's playing something good this week? Just randomly. Oh, what am I playing this week? Uh I'm we playing play. a lot of games, man. What are you playing 2K? I'm playing 2K. Uh, I'm playing a special game that I could talk about on Wednesday. Uh stay oh. stay around for that. Uh, what else? Friday 13th. Uh dude, Friday the 3rd. I love I love I've played a lot of Friday the 13th. I love that. Same. You seen that uh you seen that DLC they coming out with they came yep. out with the roadmap for the DLC today. Yeah, I saw that roadmap. I like that. I, I think I like everything about that. That's one of those games though that's only fun to me when other people have microphones. I love talking shit as Jason and stuff. When it's quiet, I feel like I don't have as much fun. Yeah, yeah. You gotta facts. be careful when it's quiet. That means somebody working together and some. You, you either gotta, you either yeah. gotta be playing with your friends or like talking shit to other people. That's true. Yeah, I, I, I like. I uh, somebody was tracking me down the other day. I was trying to run through the woods, and this Jason was chasing me, and he was doing a Mickey Mouse voice. So he was like, "I'm gonna cut your entrails out." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, oh shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's funny." I ain't gonna lie, that's cool. Um, Rystar asked me why I didn't I buy the Switch yet. Listen, I'm getting the Switch. Soon enough, okay. It's Go on, cop the switch, BG. Let it collect it my house. Uh, good air purifier, man. Eventually. And I, I already know <laughs> what games like I'm, I might be waiting a little bit for the library of games that I want to build up. I could tell you the games I know I'm gonna I'm gonna get. Um, I'm definitely getting whatever you know, whatever that Pokemon game is that comes out on the switch. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna get that Octopath game. Uh, I'm gonna get Mario Kart. Uh, Mario plus Rabbids, that's the main game I want. And I'm going to get Zelda. So by the time I get it, I would like for those five games to be out. I'm probably going to get it a little bit before that, though. But I'm going to get Bro, do you not love that Pokemon? Bro, yeah, you might as well go and go get it. Bro. I'm going to get it. Y'all still playing Pokemon? That Pokemon game ain't coming until, like, 2019, it. dog. Yeah. I've never played a Pokemon game. Damn, really? Wait, yeah. wait, wait. You mean in your life? In my life. Wow. Little, now, Jimmy kind of, Jimmy's an older dude, though. I can understand sure. that. I can blame it on being old, but I'm just like, who plays? Why y'all playing it now? Though? Ain't y'all too old for it? Hey, Pokemon used to be lit, though. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't play it now. Well, Pokemon I it Stadium, I, I play that right now. Pokemon is eternal. I like Pokemon. Oh, word? Okay. <laughs> the, the mini game. Who wants some smoking them Pokemon Stadium mini games, though? Nobody. Facts. I played a lot of them. I, I still have this very clear memory of. Uh, I think it was like fourth grade, and I walked in, and there was this kid, and he had Pokemon Red on an original Game Boy, and he had Pikachu shoes on that lit up. And I remember just being like, that man is a god. That is what cool <laughs> looks like. <laughs> man. Like him. And what the day is, man. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to get the Switch. Don't y'all don't worry about it, man. It's in, it's coming. Um, uh, we can get to the intros. So, I mean, the outro. Uh, outros. Outros, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, Jimmy? Yo, what's up, man? J Mega Games as usual, man. About to uh, see what's going on. Uh, Twitch TV, J Mega Games Live. Please go follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sweet. And have a good weekend, everybody. You guys know what it is. Xbox is the best box, and I am the best bot. You guys, have a good night. Jack. Um, appreciate everybody for watching, man. The continued support. Um, Twitch.tv slash Jack Move Johnny. Uh, make sure you go hit my sub button, man. Um, YouTube, you know, just search Jack Move Johnny. You'll see me. Um, make sure you hit my sponsor button, man. Uh, Twitter, Jack Move Johnny. Make sure y'all hit that follow button on Twitter to stay in tune with what I got going on. All right? Um, and that's it. I appreciate y'all. Yo, Hardy, man. I, I really got to thank you for, you know, all you contributed, <laughs> bro. Like, your, your deep insight on everything today <laughs> was amazing hard eight. Um, you got anything to say? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> he, he, no, he legit said, I think, four words today. Is oh, yeah, what, cool though? I hope it ain't no, no shame. You got you got you got shout out uh Tick and um Shout out Tick and Jay Got. Jay Got and uh Whack Bond. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, cool. Uh but and uh Dream uh, Dreamcast guy, I appreciate you coming on. This is a lot of fun. Thanks so much. Hopefully I didn't like embarrass myself too much all my random ass shit. See, when, whenever we need a little bit more Nintendo insight, because, you know, God like you to actually know what they're talking about. Y'all short, you know, we short staffed when it comes. So I might like, you know, have to hit you up again when we need yeah. a little more of that. Seriously, this was a lot of fun. If y'all ever need another guest slot, I'll be happy to hop on. Yeah, you got you to plug your channel, man. 
Yeah, just Dreamcast guy. If you type that into Google, YouTube, anything, I'll pop up. Uh, I've got a review of Destiny 2 up right now, so if you want to go see what I thought of that, uh, go check it out. Because, you know, we, we only got, you know, Nintendo guys like Trey, who not going to come on here, and Blandrew. Yeah. I, mean, I can't take Blandrew's word for nothing serious, you know. So we don't got no reliable Nintendo. Who are Rob Blandrew? He's, he's, he's alive again? Dreamcast guy, I went to your channel. Your shit popping, dog. Yeah, thank you, man. It's it's crazy. I got a, over a million views last month. That was the first time I ever had that oh, happen. Shit. That that yeah. felt crazy. Like, cause you know, I'm like one random ass dude just talking about video games. You see numbers that big, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, this shit ain't yeah, playing. Yeah, damn. So, uh, Shokio too busy. Shokio always too busy. So I can't. I can't. Shokio a fraud, dog. I can't never get him to get on here. So. He's streaming right now, ain't he? Something. Yeah. So yeah, uh, um, viewers, supporters, we appreciate y'all. And uh, we out of here, y'all. All right. All right. Bye. Peace.